please. Free photo. Photo. Please. please. No photos. No, no. Jeez. Jeez. No, no. No. Please. No photos. Nowadays, nothing really excites me. Only one of me and nobody like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got wifey, y'all, I'm blinging. She ice. Freeze. Free photo. Photo. As they spend the next couple of weeks fighting for district seating, and in some instances, for a district title. Overcoming obstacles has been the name of the game for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats so far. After a 7-1 start to the season, they will try to take down the Kaufman Lions to give themselves a shot at the district title next week. The weather has pushed the game up from their normal 7.30 p.m. kickoff to 5 o'clock, but the Wildcats won't let that throw them off their scent. After dealing with injuries and obstacles all season, this will be just one more thing for them to overcome. We are live from Kaufman, Texas. Thank you all so much for joining us. For those of you who have been hanging out with us this season already, thank you so much and welcome back. If you're tuning in for the very first time, I'm Tyler Lennon. I'm freezing, but I'm joined by my partner, Ryan Humphreys. Ryan, how are you feeling, man? Also freezing. Yeah. Uh, this is this is obviously a unique experience. Very yeah. windy, very cold. Uh, I don't know if we could can be, see by the way we're dressed. We, we could be wet, uh, which, True. which later on in the game, we'll, we'll see what happens. But 5 p.m. kickoff, it's, it's unique for everyone. It's unique for the players, for us, for the fans. Uh, but this is going to be a fun one. It is, and we know for so many reasons because it got moved up to five o'clock because of the weather it's in coffin we know a lot of people can't make it so thank you for uh, choosing to, to hang out with us hopefully you won't have to miss a snap because of it uh, we got a lot to talk about the game's gonna get started in about 25 minutes but we want to thank the pregame sponsors for helping us bring you this part of the show our friends at discount wheel and tire toby boatman garage doors commercial glass and mirror we're going to tell you more about each of them so don't go anywhere but first ryan looking at the coffin lions uh this is a big game for them they are two and one in district kind of tied for third place right now but of course you beat Silver springs tonight you have a chance to be second place yeah no doubt tyler it's a huge game uh obviously Kaufman, their, their lone district loss uh, came at the hands of Anna. Uh, at this point, I would say Anna being the favorite. Yeah. Uh, Sulphur Springs tied with Anna. You know, big game tonight. You want to win this one so that you can be, at worst, second place in district. Yeah. You and, win this and one. Going into Anna with, with a chance to win the district title. Yeah, that would be huge. And no matter what happens here tonight or next week or whenever, I mean, the fact that you're in this position at all, I think a lot of people would not have necessarily expected that. I mean, it, it was clear when the predictions were made. Well, it's funny, you know, how how over the course of a season, what, what your what your goals are. Uh, because in August, this is not the conversation that we were having. Right. Uh, going into district, this was the conversation we were having. And so now we're here with, with you know, again, I I, I've, I've alluded to it before. We control our own destiny. Uh, you know what you do tonight and what you do next week is going to decide how how this district shakes up. Now, before we start talking about the Silver Springs Wildcats, I do want to talk about the home team in tonight's game, the Coffin Lions. They're led by a kid by the name of Braxton Garmin. The kid's an absolute monster. He has 997 rushing yards this year, which sounds like a lot. To put it into perspective, he averages seven yards per carry and over 160 yards per game. He's got 13 rushing touchdowns. He's got a few scholarship offers, and I think they're going to continue to come in. Uh, how are you going to contain a kid like that? Yeah, and especially you know on a night like tonight where we don't necessarily know what the weather is going to do. It's very windy. That makes it tough to throw the ball. We might get some rain later. You're, you're going to have a ground and pound approach uh, offensively. There's going to be times where you just line it up and run the rock, and to have a guy like that, a solid running back like that, Kaufman, you know, that's going to be that's going to be one of their strong points tonight. Absolutely. Now, before we go anywhere, I told you I was going to tell you about some of our sponsors, and I'm going to start by doing so, telling you about Discount Wheel and Tire. Discount Wheel and Tire of Sulphur Springs offers a full line of Michelin tires. When you're looking for the right tire, the choice is easy. Michelin packs more science into their tires to bring together safety, durability, fuel efficiency, and performance without trade-offs. Match the right tire with the right service today. Discount Wheel and Tire, proudly serving our Wildcats for over 25 years now. Again, talking about the Sulphur Springs Wildcats, we've already talked about this a little bit, but man, I, I want to take a look at the, the district standings very quickly. And again, for you to be 3-0 and in district play, you cannot finish worse than third. Obviously, you've got a chance if you win either of these next two games to finish second or even win the district title. Man, that is that is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's just a testament to what Sulphur Springs has been able to achieve this year. You know, lots of 
lots of floating, you know, expectations before the season. You didn't really know what we were getting into, uh, but man, they, they've really delivered, uh, and it's been a really fun year. Absolutely, and literally, I, I mentioned it in the intro, but just the obstacles, and it, it seems like they've had so many different obstacles this year, whether it be injuries or whatever it may be, and for them to, it seems like overcome it every single time, and tonight, for so many reasons, is another opportunity to do just that. You have a number of players who are out, the weather's bad, you're on the road, the game's two and a half hours earlier than normal. This is another chance for them to do exactly that. It is, uh, the cards are stacked against the Summer Springs Wildcats tonight. There's no I mean, there's no getting there's no getting around that. <laughs> right. uh, we've got multiple starters out tonight. The weather sucks. We're on the road. We're playing at five o'clock. Every everything's changing. But what did I say? What have, what have I said for weeks? The teams that are the most resilient, the teams that adapt and overcome, in the end, will will, will be victorious. One hundred percent. Now we're we're. We still got some things to get to in this pregame portion of the show. Of course, we've got to get to everyone's favorite part of the pregame show, Home Skis to Victory. We're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but first, I want to mention last week's Slaughter's Barbecue Player of the Game, Jaden Nelson. He not only was the player of the game, he made what was undoubtedly the play of the game. If you've been living under a rock where you don't have TikTok, you haven't seen it. <laughs> but if you do have TikTok, you have seen it. The play Jaden Nelson made to win that game last week was huge. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, I I like listening to the the call on that one because you and I are both thinking, "Wow, mm -hmm. cannot believe Paris just scored a touchdown to tie it up and, and potentially go for two and win this football game." But Jaden Nelson said, "No, sir." I mean, it, it was it was a no fly zone yep. uh, on that particular play, and, and that was that was really awesome. And Chad's media shout out to um, shout out to Corey. Corey. We don't know if you can see him behind us, but Corey Hankins with, with the uh, the shot of the season. Absolutely, uh, that that was pretty neat. He did that with the Corey cam. Now we've already mentioned Corey's kind of our <laughs> producer here tonight, so unfortunately there will be no Corey cam tonight for obvious reasons. The weather, uh, you can't risk that in the rain. Right. <laughs> We're doing the best we can right. in these conditions. But we've talked about Jay Nelson all year long. He's a player who, if you haven't seen him play, if you only look uh, you know at the stats unfortunately his name's not going to stick out at you but he is a great coverage cornerback yeah no there's no question uh and i think that there's been we, we talked about it there's been lots of 50 50 opportunities thrown his way uh and, and it seems like more times than not he breaks up that pass he really does um yeah, again, I don't want to step on your keys to victory or anything like that. So let's talk very, you know, vaguely and everything. But uh, what do you think Silver Springs is going to have to do to win this game tonight? Because, again, you have so many. It, there are a ton of your best players who, unfortunately, you're not going to have tonight. I mean, on both sides of the ball, you have two, three, four really key offensive players who you're not going to have. You have two, three, four, maybe more than that, key defensive players that you're not going to have tonight. So how do you overcome that? Tyler, I'm going to go back to something that I talked about in the scrimmage. The first time that Chad's media did, did a live football uh -huh. game, I talked about this being a huge theme on Friday nights. There's going to be a roller coaster of emotions tonight. Okay, there's going to be some ups. There's going to be some downs. There are going to be times where we go three and out tonight. There's going to be there's going to be turnovers. It, it is going to be a, a a football game. I mean, that's just that's a normal thing. And and when you have starters, guys that normally play out, and we have multiple tonight, there there's going to be some ugly moments. But but you have to you got to stay level. And, and if you can stay level and you can make enough good plays to put yourself in a position to win this one. I, and I think Silver Springs can do so. Yeah, something that you and I talk about a lot, and I think it might be as important as ever, is really controlling the game as much and as long as possible. And obviously that starts from the jump. If you can come out here, whether it's with the ball or on defense, and if you can control the flow of this game, if you can find yourself being the one playing from ahead, I think that's really a way to combat that. You know, the second you start playing from behind and you start having to kind of play you know, people talk about playing within yourself. I think if they can do that from the jump, you do have a good chance. Right, and I, I don't think that there has to be any out-of-body performances tonight to win this one, but, you know, you've got a new quarterback in there. You know, Brady Driver, he got injured last week. He's going to be out for the season, so it's it's up to Caden Mitchell to step up here. But at the same time, everyone around him ha has to has to pick him up, okay? Because uh -huh. it's his it's his first start in his career, and what an opportunity! Oh, I mean, yeah. that's that's awesome. Uh, and, but everyone around him is going to have to step up and, and carry their weight. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see him right now. Obviously, you and I can. He's looking really good out there passing. He's been a player that I've been telling you about because I got to see him last year on the freshman team. And something that you and I have talked about all year long, little did we know it would come into play. But we keep talking about how many freshmen, how many sophomores are making – 
you know, big contributions every single week. Well, now for a guy like Caden, who's only a sophomore, he's throwing to the guys he's used to throwing to. He's used to throwing to Skyler Lewis. He's used to throwing, uh, you know, to a Jackson Hare. And I think this is an opportunity for him to have players that he never got to play with before, but also guys he is comfortable and familiar with. That's really a great point because, like, let's look at the Cowboys early in the year. Okay, you lose Dak Prescott, you Cooper Rush comes in, wins four games for the Cowboys. His best receiver was Noah Brown, Brown, a name that you're not normal to seeing, and I don't think that's going to happen tonight, but to your point, he's going to be comfortable. There's a lot of guys that are his age out there tonight. Uh -huh. His supporting cast is is guys that he grew up playing with, so right. I'm excited to see him. And uh, if nothing else, even if it's not that you're used to playing with them, I think that's just a comfort level. Hey, these, yeah. are, these are my guys. You know, I'm not, you know, it's not like you're walking into high school and meeting new people for the first time. These are, these are my guys. The best thing that that offensive unit can do tonight as a group is make sure that Caden Mitchell knows that he's capable mm -hmm. of doing this. You I know agree. what I'm saying? It's just a – it's not a if he can do it. It's a it's a confidence thing. Right. You don't know you can do it. He can do it. Now, Ryan, we are about to get to your keys to victory. But, again, sorry I'm wiping my nose, y'all. It is very <laughs> it's cold. It's very windy. Um, yeah. It's very windy, very cold. I told you I was going to tell you more about some of our sponsors. Now I want to tell you about our friends at Toby Boatman Garage Doors. They are a family-owned and operated business that has served Hopkins County and surrounding areas for 20 years. They provide high High quality and long lasting work, which you can find examples of on Facebook. Call or text 903 348 6170 for all your residential and commercial garage door needs, including installation and repairs. No matter how big or small your job is, Toby Boatman Garage Doors will fix you up. All right, y'all, we have hyped it up. It's my favorite segment, it's everyone's favorite segment of the pregame show Humps, Keys to Victory. I feel like number one, I've said time and time again, but this is tonight. Number one is adapt and overcome. Absolutely. Okay. Starting quarterbacks out. CJ Williams is out. Ty Bobby's out. Riley Hammond's out. There, there are there are big time players that are not playing in this football game tonight. And Silver Springs is going to have to adapt and overcome if they want to win. I mean, they're just that's the bottom line. Right. Uh, and, and, and I think they can do so. Number two. There's a loud there's a loud yell. <laughs> but number two is the Blue Barrage. And and, and the reason I, I want to, and we love talking about them, uh, I actually saw a shirt yeah. that was Blue Barrage. I feel like, you know, maybe I should get a shirt. Now, since, the players seem to love it. The fans right, seem to love right, it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Fun, fun coin term that I, that I had there. But the Blue Barrage, okay, when, when you have an offense that has a has a backup quarterback, you're missing your, your big-time playmaker, you got to lean on the defense. The defense is going to have to come up big in spots because, like I said, there are going to be some three out, three and outs tonight. There, there potentially might be some turnovers, so the defense is going to have to step up, mm -hmm. and, and they're going to have to do their thing tonight. Tyler, number three, I said he would continue to be in there until something changed, but go one to know this week. Tonight, is, is it's not about Anna. It's not about the district title. It's not about anyone else. It's about going one to know against the Kaufman Lions at their place to, to set yourself up uh, to, to continue to have great success this season. I absolutely agree. And I agree pretty much always with your keys to victory. And it's funny how often they continue to come up. Uh, I think we'll see more of them continue to come up tonight. We've still got a little under 15 minutes until kickoff. I think y'all have probably seen enough of our faces. We're going to get ready to throw it down to the field. Again, I wanted to tell you about all of our supporting sponsors for the pregame portion of the show. And now I want to tell you about our friends at Commercial Glass and Mirror. Shout out to David Gideon. I saw that he told you he'd be uh, watching yeah, here tonight. I saw that, yeah. Uh, Commercial Glass and Mirror, which is owned by David Gideon. If you're looking for the best residential and commercial glass replacement services around, call Commercial Glass and Mirror at 903-885-2661. You can find them on the service road at 405 Interstate Highway 30. Here at Chad's Media, we love Commercial Glass and Mirror, and we know that you will too. Ryan, I've got to say, for this stadium, one, uh, it does look like hopefully a lot of y'all are tuned in with, with right, us here right. tonight. Rightfully so. It doesn't it, it's, matter. It's cold. There might be more people on the Sarver Spring side than the Kaufman side right now. But it's uh yeah. Tune in to Chad's meeting tonight for sure. It's this is a really cool stadium though, and they've got this awesome jumbo tron. Hopefully throughout the course of the night y'all get to see some shots of that. That is that thing is awesome. Right, right. We'd love to see one of those at uh, the prim. The prim's got everything, but just not a jumbo truck. Now, at the prim, though, uh, you and I would be in the comfort of the warm press box. Yes. <laughs> uh, but this, hey, you know what? We're spending our Friday night watching, or Friday day, Friday afternoon, yeah, Friday afternoon <laughs> Friday evening. post work. Uh, we're, we're spending that watching the Silver Springs Wildcats go toe to toe with the Kaufman lines, and, and I wouldn't. There's no place I'd rather be. Absolutely, except for maybe except the for the press box. <laughs> except for in the press box right. at the prim. Right. 
Again, still a little under 13 minutes until we get going here tonight. Ryan, you and I, uh, a lot of the times, we've talked about Jaden Nelson being last week's Slaughter's Barbecue Player of the Game. We like to give predictions. Predictions? <laughs> we like to give predictions on who this week's will be. Who, who you got this week for who you think might be the Slaughter's Barbecue Player of the Game? I mean, Tyler, I feel like it's only fitting if the Silver Springs Wildcats come out of this with a win tonight. I think it's going to be because of, of the of the new quarterback, Caden Mitchell. I think nice. that's a great pick uh, for player of the game. I, I have I have all the faith in the world in him, uh, and I'm excited to see him slinging around. Now, dude, something you mentioned last week that I, I don't know that a lot of people would have you know realized, but uh, obviously he's, he's getting the opportunity to play with his older brother, Matthew Mitchell, yep. out there. And, of course, Matt Mitchell has been QB1 for this team in the past. How much do you think this week or in the last little bit has been spent of them sitting down together and Matt just like, hey, buddy, you got this, you know, or kind of walking him through what to expect on a Friday night? It's huge, man. Uh, and, you know, and I talked to I talked to Matt about that after Friday night. Uh, you know, I said that the best thing that you can do this week is be a great a great leader uh -huh. uh, to, to your brother and a great brother to your brother. Yeah. Uh, that, that's going to go a long way tonight in, in what Caden's able to do. Uh, but, yeah, and I talked to Caden Mitchell before the game. You and I both did. He mm -hmm. seemed spirits were high. He, he seemed he, ready to go. He seems ready to rock. He seemed ready to go. Coach Fairclaw seemed ready to go. I got yep. to talk to Ty Rollison, Keenan Clayton, all these guys. They're ready. They're ready to go. I'm ready to go, too, by the way. We still got about 11 minutes. Um, you know, you mentioned the best thing that Matt Mitchell can do is just be a, a good older brother and a good teammate. And I know we've done this a ton of times, but I want to continue to do it. I cannot give that man enough credit for how good of a job he's done this year, not just in his new role, but as a leader of this team. No, I agree, uh, and I think that I think that on a team where you've got lots of highlights from younger players, uh, I think where the seniors can really step in and make a huge difference is is off the field. And I think on the sidelines, you know, you've got a ton of senior leadership from from lots of different spots on this roster, and, and I think that that's been a huge success in, in the seven wins that we've had this season. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, Ten minutes to go now. For anyone tuning in for the very first time, obviously once they start with you know the national anthem and the prayer and everything, Ryan and I will step out of the way. But then y'all are stuck with us for the rest of the night. Again, I want to thank all of our pregame sponsors, Discount Wheel and Tire. Uh, Toby Bowman Garage Doors, Commercial Glass and Mirror. And I want to thank the, the team that we've got here at Chaz Media tonight. Obviously, if you're watching the games, you just see me and Ryan on camera, but it is it is a lot more than us. Big shout out to Chad, to Corey, to Rachel, uh, to you know Abby and Tanner who are usually with us, Casey Chicas. It's a, it's a lot of us. That, it takes a full team, just like with the Silver Springs Wildcats. It's not one person, it's it's a lot of us. Especially on a night like tonight, having to overcome. <laughs> we, right. We thought the Van Alstein weather was bad just when it was a little bit windy. It's, uh, it's windy, it's cold, but like you said, at least it's not raining right now. Not yet. We're ready for it at any point, though. Right. Uh, want to point out, uh, for those of you that keep up with you know websites like Dave Campbell's, Wildcats, a seven-point underdog here tonight. Seven-point underdog. This is the first time in a few weeks that they have been underdogs. You know, they were underdogs a lot of the time to start the season, started winning some games, started getting some... Uh, recognition and everything, and then this is their first time being an underdog again, I think, since the Hallsville game. Well, and I would say, you know, you talk about, you, you like to talk about the rankings a lot, and, and Kaufman's a team that's been in the top ten, and mm -hmm. is a team that's in the top ten, top five. Uh, I I would predict that if Silver Springs comes away with a win tonight, uh, on the road, at a top ten opponent, you're going to be inside the top ten. You would think. Uh, I mean, you'd almost have to. Yeah, you would be. You'd almost have to. You'd be, be eight, at eight, and one. eight and one at that point. Your lone loss is against a five A school, so you're undefeated in your classification. Um, yeah. I mean, you're probably going to be in top. Yeah, 10. you're seven and zero at that point against four yeah. A teams. Looking at the Coffin Lions, I know we've already previewed them a little bit, but they are two and one in district play, which we mentioned. Um, their one loss being, of course, to Anna. But in their two wins, they scored thirty or more points in each of them, and then they allowed a combined twenty-one points in those two games. Yeah, that was, no. uh, I believe, Paris and Maybank. Right. No, and I, I think Kaufman, uh, I think they lost to an Anna team that's really good. I, I think I think they lost to an Anna team that's really good, and I think Kaufman's really good. It, it's going to be a dogfight tonight. Now, if um, I'm not mistaken, when Anna and Kaufman played each other, that's when you and I were doing the Maybank game, and we were kind of, you as you always do a really good job of keeping up with the yes. scores, that was a, it, you know, 41 to, or 42 to 21, I think, was the final, but it was but that a only lot happened, closer. But that only happened in the fourth quarter. Yeah, wasn't it, it 28 was to 21? It was 13 to 13 yeah. for like a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Really curious to see how this one goes tonight. Under eight minutes, we are getting there, y'all. It's a, uh, it's interesting. Usually, you and I are like just hitting the road, not just hitting the road. We're probably at this point 
usually getting close to the stadium. We obviously always get here very early, but uh, just the fact it's starting at five o'clock is is different. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I never I never played a high school game this early. I was gonna ask for your uh, you know experience, but I don't think you have it. No, in that not situation. in high school. In college, you know, we we had some eleven o'clock games. So maybe uh, a freshman or a JV game would maybe yeah, start I mean, early though, five five o'clock is pretty early but yeah it just it, it gets you out of your routine uh but but they're also playing at five o'clock uh, uh -huh. j just like we are so man you know it's it's gonna be cold it's gonna be it's gonna be potentially wet but it's easy to to let that be an excuse you just gotta again i i, I feel like i'm saying a dad joke here but you gotta adapt and overcome uh, i mean that's that is the name of the game tonight no it absolutely is and also uh have to point out no band no blue blazes tonight so the halftime right. show is going to look a, right. a little bit different of course uh usually we love to be able to show y'all the, the band and the blue blazes i already know people are going to ask in the comments why we haven't shown it <laughs> well, the answer is they, because unfortunately they're not here they with us not tonight. here tonight uh it it's, in every sense of the word is just a little bit of a different night yeah it is it is but as always thank you for choosing to spend it with us can't wait to get this one going about six and a half minutes until all the festivities and everything gets started. I, I'm very excited to see Caden Mitchell in his first varsity start. And here come the Wildcats starting to they've got the walk old, over here. They've got the old walk through the parking lot uh, trip. Yep. You know, a lot of no sleeves on the sidelines for the Wildcats they're, tonight. They're maybe maybe a little bit of toughness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're better than I am. Were, were you a no sleeves guy? Uh, you know, I, I really didn't play in a lot very of cold. many cold games. I played one one very cold game. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, Even in college, five years ago, yesterday was the coldest game I ever played in my college, in my high school career. Really, against Mount Pleasant, back against the wall at their place. It's freezing. It's windy, just like this. Uh, we beat Mount Pleasant at their place. It was very cold. It was about like this. Nice. Five years ago, yesterday. I would have thought maybe in college you played in some colder games. Man, uh, I really didn't. But you got to remember though, I was in Huntsville. I was about to so say that is the beauty warmer. of now, being. I did play a game in North Dakota. Uh, but that game was in a dome, luckily. How cool was that? Incredible. Because that's a really, really, really cool stadium. Like, of the of the non-FCS schools, yeah, isn't no. that one of the more prestigious uh, stadiums? Well, yeah, no, that, that one was really neat. Um, but, yeah, not, not a lot of cold games. Now, I had my fair share of uh, wet and rainy games, for sure. Uh, biggest game in my college career. National Championship was, was the yeah. wettest game I've ever played. I vowed to never attend another football game that involved <laughs> rain. And uh, and I'm here tonight. And here so we I are. Got, <laughs> so, so we'll see. It's weird. The Wildcats do not have their no tunnel. Uh, no we're, tunnel we're doing the old run through the end zone trick. I, I like it. Hey, here's another weird thing. We're coming from one end zone. Yeah. They're coming from another. You're right. Usually. We're going to run We're gonna run at each other. We're going to meet at the 50-yard <laughs> line. I like it. Kaufman with the all black tonight. Silver Springs with the all white. I love tonight. an all black look. I really do. Oh I, no, I do too. I mean, a black helmet, matte black. Is it matte black? Matte black it helmet looks, is always it looks a great matte look. Black. Great look. It looks. looks I like matte Kaufman's black. logo too. I love the logo. It's kind of the outline of the Missouri almost, logo ish. Yeah. Even though they're the Tigers and Kaufman's the Lions. True. But, should have just stole the Detroit Lions. Right. Oh, that would work. You, and you ladies really see There we go. For the ninth, eighth time, ninth time this season, here come your Sulphur Springs Wildcats. No tunnel. It's cold, but they look ready to go. Man, how, how does this affect? We didn't even talk about it, but I wonder what this does to the kicking game. Yeah. Because if you're going point. into the wind, there, there might be some instances where you just say, hey, we're going for two. Yeah, I was about to ask. Not, I'm not even talking field goals, but yeah, like you're saying, even though Yuri Santa Cruz is on a hell of a streak it, oh, right now, not, I believe it's 30-something it, consecutive points. Oh, no, I mean, it's not even. He's on fire right It's now. not even that. It's just simply it is harder to kick in the wind. It just is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's harder to snap in the wind. It's harder to hold in the wind. I mean, every, everything plays a role, special teams. Uh, you know, if I'm punting into the wind, uh, that's another thing. You yeah. know, who's going to do the punting duty tonight? No Brady Driver. That is true. Uh, so if I'm punting into the wind and it's fourth and short, you know, maybe we go for it. I now, don't know. Now, I have seen Caden Mitchell punt as well. I am curious uh, if he be – because, you know, we've seen Nick Cantillo punt before, but, of course, he's not right. playing tonight either. Uh, I am curious if it's going to be Caden who takes over the punting roles or, or how that's going to work. But, uh, Ron, I was just about to ask you something. And I lost it. Three minutes until we get everything going here tonight. 
Oh, I had spoken with Yori and Coach Upton before the game. And, you know, it's just talking about how great they've been lately, uh, how consistent they've been, and, and both of them, Coach Upton. Of course, Coach Upton's always got all the confidence in the world. That man, I always love always loved talking to Coach Upton, but Yuri as well. I mean, a lot, of co- a lot of confidence coming from that group, and there should be. The kicking, I think, and obviously in the time that I've spent covering the Silver Springs Wildcats, this is by far the best I've seen, um, the kicking in the special teams. So big shout-out to Yuri Santa Cruz and, and Coach Upton. Looks like Kaufman almost getting ready to run out of that tunnel. Got two minutes, ten seconds left on the clock before we get going. And again, for those of you just tuning in, thank you so much for choosing to spend your Friday night with us here at Chaz Media. We are going to step out of the way once everything gets started with the um, with the national anthem and the prayer and everything. And then you're stuck with Ryan and I for the next couple of hours. This is senior night for Kaufman. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. One last time under these senior lights. Oh, we got something cool going on on the jumbo truck. Oh boy, I dig that. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. Brian, what you think about that? Fancy. Here come the coffin live. They look ready. They've got the band trying to play over the PA system. We've got the PA system trying to play over the band. We've got stuff going on the Jumbotron still. Sharpen the axe. That's what it says on the Jumbotron. Less than 20 seconds are left on the clock. I think we're about ready to get started with the prayer, with the national anthem. And then we'll have 48 minutes of football for you. I, I could see it. I could see it being a faster game tonight, Tyler. I mean, I there, there's going to be a lot of runs, a lot of quick passes. Um, and you know, if I'm Silver Springs. I, I don't know that a track meet is, is what we need tonight. You know, you, you, you're missing some offensive pieces. Uh, I think you need to try to control the game. You can try to try to control the line of scrimmage. together this evening and for the community who has come to support our boys on their last home game. We pray for the safety of everyone on the field tonight as they play through this weather and ask that you prevent any injuries from occurring. We also ask for the safety of all the first responders who put their lives at risk daily to protect our community. Thank you for their willingness to serve others. Help everyone to have safe travels home after the game tonight. May everything we do be for the glory of you. In your name I pray. Amen. Remain standing for the national anthem.
Play ball. Let's do it, man. Again, I want to thank every single one of you for choosing to spend your Friday evening hanging out with us on the live stream. Some other people you can catch a live stream from this weekend is that of our friends at The Way Bible Church. They want to welcome you home on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. or 1045. You can catch a live stream at 1045 at TWBCSS.com, Facebook, or YouTube. Come find a place to belong at The Way Bible Church. You can visit them at 674 FM 2560 in Sulphur Springs. So I have a beautiful new building that I know everyone's going to want to check out. Tyler, if I'm Silver Springs here and I win the toss, I think I'd put the defense out there. You know, just that, just that to so as well. kind of go kind of goes in line with my my hub's keys to victory. Uh, you know, the, the the second one being Blue Barrage, and I think that let's give them the opportunity to come up with a big stop on the first drive of the game. That would give you a lot of momentum. And I think you know, I wanted to ask your opinion on this if you're. Silver Springs deferred, by the defer. way. Yeah. So, yeah. I did want to ask your opinion. You know, Caden Mitchell making his first varsity start here tonight. If you were him, you know, do you prefer the defense starting out just to kind of give you some time to get ready? You know, prefer, do you, you feel the I, game. If it was his 50th start, I prefer the defense being out there first. I, I always hated, man, when I was starting quarterback, I hated being the first play of the game. I, I just, I don't know. I, let me let me watch a little bit. Let me get some of the pregame butterflies out. Mm -hmm. Um and so I have zero problem with the defense going out there first. Sorry, y'all, that I keep sniffing. I try to do that not directly into the microphone from now on. We are ready to get started. Wildcats deferring to the second half. Ryan, it's weird conditions, but I'm ready. Um, I'm excited. We, you and I get to hang out on a Friday night and watch football together. I mean, you can't beat it. No, like I said, no place I'd rather be. Uh, except that drilled brim in the press our, box. In our comfy press lie, box. But this this is going to do. Stands are filling up a little bit on they the Coffin side. Silver Spring side, a couple people filing in. Uh, we hope that you're watching Chad's you media. Are. And for anyone that is watching, if you know of any friends who are like, where are they getting? Send it to your friends. Yeah, t tell them it started at 5. Put tell it them on, it starts right now. Send them the link. Put it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. You can also find us on any of those platforms on Front Porch News on Facebook. I, I can't really tell which direction the wind is going. I can't it's kind of in our face. It's coming in my face. So, uh, so this kick, you know, it should probably help this kick a little bit. Now that is actually going to be out of bounds. You know, we've gotten the, we've gotten close to a lot of those. That's the first. <laughs> the first time it actually has gone out of bounds, I believe. Looks like they are going to elect them to kick it again. Okay. And, and in, a, in a windy situation, I don't disagree with that call at all. And also, it's like a, this happened earlier in the year. Everyone on the kickoff team has to run down on the field again. Right. You know? And, and if I've got a playmaker back there, we'll keep doing this all day. No time off the clock. It's like it yep. never happened. You're right. See if Brian Rodriguez can get it done this time. If y'all can hear the wind in the microphone, it is let you know how windy it is. Give you a feel for the atmosphere out here, though. And he will return this one at about the 10. Looking for his hole. Breaks a tackle, and they're going to start all the way up at about the 37, Ryan. Man, I tell you what, this weather, it's the fingers. It's, yeah. it's the fingers that hurt, I'm telling you. You got you to keep the hands the hands warm on the sidelines. I see a lot of jumping jacks going on. A lot of people huddled up. You and I are going to gonna snuggle up in the second half. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't going to tell you. I was just going to do it. But Right, right. We're going to have to. I do like the all black. Look at it's a good look. Look at that Braxton Garmin in the back in the backfield. He looks like a beast, doesn't he? It's a handoff round. First down, and they've got already up past the 50. Just one play into this game. He moves him up to the 48. First down yard. 
You gotta feel good about that if you're Kaufman. I've no snapped question. the ball once and I'm in opposing territory. Well, Louis, the the less the less times that I have to put the ball in the air in this weather, yeah. and, and I can successfully move the ball up and down the field on the ground, I'm gonna do it. How much does that affect the passing game? Incredibly. Uh, I mean, I I mean wind wind and wetness for, for throwing the ball is not not ideal. There's a solid you know, I told you Garmin averages about seven yards per carry, and he gets about seven yards on that carry. You know, and one of the strong suits of this this blue barrage this year, I think the front seven's been awesome, but I think it's I think that a, a big strong suit is the, the defensive back's ability to tackle. Yeah. And, and, and tonight you're without Raleigh Hammonds, uh -huh. uh, the leading Those tackler. Yeah, you're right. Best tackler. And, and, and Ty Bobby, a, a sophomore that's made a huge impact in that secondary. Now, start, now in, yeah. in that secondary, you still have Austin Chaney, you still have Jaden Nelson, you still have Landon Fields. Right. But I wouldn't be surprised if you get some new faces back there. Being without your two starting safeties well, is tough. Yeah, you, there might be a situation where you've got to stick some receivers in, in that spot. Just kind of kind of some athletes that have at one point in their time played safety. And I believe you know? that's how Landon Fields got there. That Yes, it is. It, it, it absolutely is. So it's going to be a false start. And I lied to you. They did get the first down on the last uh, handoff. So now it's going to be first and 15 from the 42. Well, that wind is really kicking up, Tyler. Yeah, it is. I've got two hoodies on, and I still don't think it's enough. No, I am. I am. Uh, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm nope. glad that you and I are suffering in the cold for uh, so the the, the yeah, people so watching so can, can watch the game, enjoying the comfort of their homes. I am too. Like you said, nowhere else I'd rather be. Nobody else would rather be with. Another gift to Garden. And he gets all that yardage back and then some. That's going to be another first down. Yeah. So, so three, twice. three run plays. Uh, three times. Not three fun. run yeah. plays, and three first downs. Yeah. That is uh, that is ideal for one side and not ideal for the other. It is the uh, definition of efficient. And they've only wasted two minutes. Still 9:45. Well, and I, again, I, I said that it's going to be a quick game tonight because if, if either offense is able to move the ball up and down the field on the ground, it's going to be a quick one. It's a fake toss. The pass is completed. He brought down inside the 20. And it might be another first down. It's close anyway. You know, fake, fake the pitch there. Kind of a naked boot. With with a with a receiver that's leaking out to the left, uh, and, and as a defender, you've got to decide: Am I going to pick up the quarterback, or am I going to pick up the the guy that's that's going out for a pass? And really, if the quarterback does it right, you you there's, can't be right. Not a right. You can't answer. be right. Yeah, he, he's going to be right every time. Second and one, nine oh three left in the first. Shout out to the nine oh three. Every chance I get, man. Second and one from the seventeen. Got a lot of pre-snap motion. And it's a great run. All the way up close to the five. You know, lots of I'm seeing lots of jet sweeps. You know, that was a little bit of a pop pass. That's going to go down as a completion. Uh, but yeah, first shotgun snap for Kaufman tonight. We've seen some weird offenses uh, in the last couple weeks. I we think have. that I think that this one's going to be more uh, modern. Yeah, I think even though it's a very run heavy one, I think this is the closest we've seen to like a college type of offense. Well, it looks very collegey to me for sure. You know, last week Paris, they were very wildcat, just uh -huh. quarterback say hunt and, and hand it off or run it. Yeah, we saw a lot of Army Navy type of offenses right. for a little while. To give them first and goal, Brayton Morris definitely stopped them and then a handful of wildcats in that blue barrage. Gonna make it second and goal. You know, you've let them get this far, but getting a stop would still be huge. Oh, if you can get out of this with three points, I'd consider that a win. And to your point, you know, with this win, who knows if you don't just try to go for it on fourth down. Might be a possibility of still walking and out I here with no I points. I wish I, I knew how windy it was down there. I was Obviously, about to say, you and it's I much are very more windy up. up here, yeah. The second to go from the four, seven minutes, 40 seconds left in the first, 10 on the play clock. Another gift to Garmin. He's broken at least one, and he is in there. So the Coffin Lions are going to score first here tonight. Oh, that's fancy. I do like that. That's fancy. Wow. It's got a, a college feel to it. Oh, that's what Silver Springs needs right there. That's pretty nifty. 
I mean, if you if you told me that we were at Bryant Denny Stadium in, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, I, I would I would I wouldn't know the difference. I wouldn't either. That was pretty cool. Good snap. Good hole. Good kick, but it did waver a little bit with that win. It'll be interesting to see how the kicking game is affected going forward. Tyler, that was about as efficient as it gets for the Kaufman Lions. It was. Kaufman Lions take a quick 7 to nothing lead with 7 minutes, 31 seconds left here in the first quarter. I want to thank all of y'all for hanging out with us here tonight, and I want to tell you about our friends at Easley's Liquid Fertilizer and Custom Pasture Spraying. They're a family-owned and operated business that provides year-round custom agriculture spraying services of farms, ra ranches, and acreages. Owned by Rodney Easley, they are huge supporters of the Sovereign Springs Wildcats, including Trent Easley, who is one of the coaches for your Wildcats. As an authorized dealer for Monty's Plant and Soil Products, they can provide everything that your crops and soil need. Their goal is to help farmers be more successful. Give Rodney a call at 214-837-2206. Wildcats are going to see if they can answer back as a point of their own. So they fake the uh, quick kick. Wildcats going to drop back a little bit. Boy, this is a unique it is. kickoff coverage. But it's got a boot, or as I would say, a cannon of a leg. It's a really great kick into the wind. We'll see how the Wildcats do on their first offensive drive right after I tell you about Mayo Appliance Services. Providing service calls, diagnostics, and repair for all home appliances with fast, affordable, and reliable service guaranteed. Located in Sulphur Springs, Mayo Appliance Services provides in-home service to all surrounding areas for repairs of dishwashers and dryers, stovetops and ovens, refrigerators and ice makers, dishwashers, you name it. For more information, call 903-951-4500 or visit MayoAppliantServices.com to see how they can help you today. You know, right here, Tyler, this drive is about getting Kate Mitchell comfortable, maybe some quick completions. Agreed. Some good handoffs to Malachi Rowland. Good to see him back. It's great to see Malachi back. You know, he had some he had some play in time last week, never never reported a carry. But, uh, you know, with, with no C.J. Williams tonight, I think you're going to get a heavy, heavy dose of number eight. Yeah, I think so as well. And we might see Rose Luke as well. We might see a combination of the both of them. Obviously, you see Chris Adams checking in on the far side over there. He's someone we've seen more and more of. I wouldn't, be surprised. Of I wouldn't be surprised to see some Bulls package tonight where we actually hand it off. Yeah. You know, we won't have the Brady Bulls package for the rest of the season. But but I could, I could see the Silver Springs offense getting a little tricky in some of those run packages. I think so as well. We've got an empty set on second and nine. Play clock winding down. It's down to five. Cooper, Cooper Faircloth is open right now. He is. The snap, and it is a quick pass out to Cooper. And Coffin sniffed that one out quickly. You know, right there, you, you want to pick up a block there. Uh, usually Matt Mitchell does a great job at that. Wasn't able to get it there, but... You know, it's like I, I saw it right before the play. I mean, he's, you've got numbers. You've got an easy completion. I think it's great to try and let Cade Mitchell kind of get some comfortable comfortable throws in, get some completions early. Yeah, dude, we've got a lot going on on the scoreboard up there. It looks like a Mavs game or something. you got the get loud. And also, they put up a, a sign of each player, like Mitchum Patterson was the one who right. made the tackle very, yeah, there. Yeah, very it's cool. really cool. Very cool. Third and about... I don't know, 14, 13? Yeah, third and 13, six minutes left in the first quarter. Matt Mitchell in motion. Cadence rolling out. He's got Skylar Lewis. Skylar Lewis has got it. Get up field. Get up field. Skylar Lewis Man. all the way out to the 45. I tell you what, Caden Mitchell rolling out to the left, throwing across his body, over, find, find Skylar Lewis right there. It's a big time throw. It is. And I believe, is that his first uh, career or varsity anyway completion? No, he just had, he just had a screen. Completion. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they lost. Yeah, first my positive. Fault. My fault. First positive completion. Uh, but you know, that's kind of something I mentioned before the game. He's very comfortable with Skylar Lewis. I wouldn't be surprised if that's not his primary target, especially with CJ out. Well, Skylar kind of is the primary and, receiver and Skyler, now. Skylar, over the last month has been night and day different oh, yeah. than, than the beginning of the year. You can definitely tell that he's becoming comfortable on Friday nights. He's gone from a kid who's going to have a solid varsity career to a kid who's going to have a great one. Malachi rolling with the carry on first and ten, and he's got some solid positive yardage out of that. Probably a gain of about six or seven, and they're past the fifty. You know, when you're running the ball in weather like this, you, you've got to you've got to double down uh, on the emphasis of protecting the rock. Mm -hmm. you, you you cannot fumble in between the tackles here. Your hands are cold. 
everyone's cold, the wind's blowing, it might be wet, but you gotta hold on to the football. Now something that you and I talked about on the way up here, of course it's not as wet right now as we thought it might be, uh, but they're all wearing gloves, all the receivers anyway. Well, and, and uh, again, that is strictly a wet thing. Gotcha. It, when it's wet, those gloves don't work. Uh, so if it starts raining, expect the receivers to uh, be gloveless. And it is a stop on third down. It's going to bring up third and three with 420 left in the first. You know, third, third and six. Third and six, yeah. yeah. There you go. It was it was a pretty, pretty big loss there. Not every day you see Malachi go down before the line of scrimmage. No. Granted, nothing he can do about it there. You wouldn't I, I know. Think, Sorry. Go ahead. No, no go you, ahead. You got it. I think it's four down territory. Yeah. Right here. I, I don't I don't see the benefit but I think I agree uh, with you. I mean, you know, we don't need to lose yards this play, but but I think that this play call is going to be because we have another one coming. Third and six. Drop it back. Rolling out. Dumps it off to Malachi. Malachi's got it, and I think he's got the first down as well. So, as soon as the ball was snapped, it looked like he was looking for Skyler on this side, decided against it, rolled out. So what he's doing there is, you know, he's got he's got a man read on this single receiver side. He's going to check it. If it's open quick, boom. If not, then I'm going to roll out and let my progression settle. He finds Malachi out of the backfield. First down, Wildcats. Once again, in opposing territory. I am very impressed already with... with Caden Mitchell's ability to throw the ball on the run. Uh, that That is not easy, I yeah. can assure you. That's twice here tonight already. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Gets it off as the play clock is expiring, and then again, that Coffin defensive line is solid. Yeah, and you know, it might be a night where Malachi is going to have to focus on running outside of the tackle box. Because right now, what I'm seeing is, is that the Coffman defensive tackles are – they're run stoppers. I mean, that, you know. Yeah, and especially in these conditions, I would think already had, already shown that you can have success passing the ball. I know that's definitely a question mark in conditions like these, but. Second and 11, 215 left in the first. Caden rolling out again. Gets rid of it as he's being pushed, and that's going to bring up third and long. I think. Smart, smart decision there to throw it away. Uh, I think right there, you know, Caden wants to get a little more depth on that rolling out just to kind of have some separation from that second level blitz coming. Uh, but smart, smart move right there to throw it away. Now, I'm curious, when he was coming this way, it looked like he was hoping Skyler might improvise and come down, take off at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Skyler's running his route. But, right. You know, as sophomores, it's hard to ask for that much improvisation, I think, but... Third and 11. He has shown he's going to continue to look the Skyler's way, though. Third and 11, he's dropping back. And there's the pressure. Nothing he can do there, just hold on to the ball. And, and now I don't think it's four down territory. Yeah, uh, that, that I, I think that that's, thing. that's too tall of a, uh, a task. It's a very tall. Look how far back they are. That's fourth and... Right, 20, 30. Yeah, exactly, yeah. fourth and 20. Yeah. yeah. That's a big play by the Kaufman Lions. I mean, you know, third down, Silver Springs is, is obviously in a in a passing situation, and to get in the backfield that easy is uh, is what you want for the Lions. Now, to answer our question, Brian Rodriguez will be doing the punting. Of course, he does the kicking during kickoff and has a boot. We've seen that. Wouldn't expect a fake here, Tyler. We do see Matt Mitchell at the up-back position. A little bit of a high snap. He does get the punt off, and it's a solid one. Kaufman going to try to return it. From the 25. And up to the 45. So, unfortunately, only a net gain of about 10 yards there on that punt. But, man, special teams can play a huge role in weather games like this. Yeah. I mean, it can. It can, it can flip the field. It can, it can be a quick change of possession. Lions first and 10 from their own 45-yard line. Just one minute and 11 seconds left here in the first quarter. I feel like it flew. There's been two. There's been two possessions. And True. It's lasted 11 minutes. True. Play action. 
A lot of window dressing there. A lot. Solid game there. Looks like Austin Chaney on the tackle. Gets him up past the 50. Bring up second and three. Second and four, maybe. I still can't tell which way the wind's blowing. It feels like it's blowing at us, but... One minute and four seconds left at the first. Second and three. And now they get to Garmin. Garmin, they're going to play to the outside. Cutting back in now. Man, he runs hard. He does. He runs hard. I, I, I'll tell you one thing that I'm already liking with this Kaufman offense is, is they run essentially the same play different ways. Uh, you know, right there you see the quarterback. He kind of he kind of gives a misdirection look out of the shotgun, which is unique. Um, it, yeah. it's, it's hard to do that not being under center, but but right there, man, you're just you're holding up the linebackers for Sulphur Springs defense, you're, you're, you're making them think about it one step. And so they're, they're, they're running to the ball one step later. Yeah, and I don't know that they've had a play that hasn't gone for positive yardage yet. Rolling out, got the pass. Landon Great tackle Fields. there. Great, Great tackle, tackle by Landon Fields. Him playing a little and, bit of a new role here and, tonight. And right there, kind of the announcer's curse. You say they don't know if they had one play that wasn't positive. Uh, that, was, that was no gain right there. Yeah. So second and ten. Now, it may have just been the final play of the quarter. Only nine seconds. They don't seem to be in that much of a hurry. And I think that is going to do it for the first quarter. Kaufman Lions lead 7 to nothing, Looking to add to their lead. Ryan, it is. It's nice and cool out here. And if you would like your house to feel nice and cool like it is out here, give our friends at Donnie's Heat and Air. A no call. one wants it to be this cool. No one does. <laughs> Donnie's Heat and Air Conditioning Service is locally owned and operated with over 25 years of experience, and they look forward to serving you. Call 903-307-9786 for same-day service or visit them on East Shannon Road. Donnie's Heat and Air for all your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning needs. Again, I want to thank all of you supporters of the Sauber Springs Wildcats for hanging out with us tonight. I know some other supporters of the Sauber Springs Wildcats, and that's our friends at DB Loans, your hometown loan specialist and tax preparer. Located on Gilmer Street, DB Loans is family owned and operated with over 30 years of experience. They offer personal loans of anywhere from $100 to $3,000. They also offer in house financing on high quality furniture and appliances from sofas to bedroom sets, to mattress sets, and more. They also offer tax prep and utility bill pay. Owned by Jennifer Clark and Wiley Road, they are huge supporters of the Wildcats, including grandson Matthew Clark, who's on the football team, and granddaughter Kylie Clark, who is a varsity cheerleader. I know they uh, love the Wildcats and Ryan. We kept talking about how dry it is. That might be about to change. I think it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Second and 10 from the 36 is how the Lions are going to get this second quarter started. To pitch out to Garmin. He just won't go down. Finally, Drew Hodges and maybe Larry and Vaughn are able to bring him down. So it's going to make third and medium. Be interesting to see uh, what, when it's all said and done, what his biggest offer is. Yeah. Uh, I think right now, what what was it? ETVU was his yeah, biggest offer? Yeah, and the Sentinel? Okay. Or yeah. Sinitary? How, what's this game? Uh, Sinitary? Centenary. Centenary. There you go. I, yeah, can't, there you I can't go. say words, but yeah. Well, next week we're gonna we're gonna face <laughs> gonna face a guy with yeah. uh, multiple multiple Division One yeah. offers. He's For, committed to uh, Boise State. Yeah, Breezy Dubar from Anna. The kid is a monster. Over, I believe, over a dozen D One offers, including Boise State, which he's currently committed to. Third and four. Another misdirection. And Garmin breaks the tackle. He's got the first down. And just goes out of bounds inside the 15. Man, that, that is an awesome play call right there. You kind of fake the end around to a, to a receiver in motion, run the misdirection. I mean, Tyler, that's my point, though. You're, you're running plays just a different way. That's that's the Malachi. Yeah. Uh, that's the Malachi delay counter. Delay counter yeah. that we run. And they just ran it from under center. That's pretty cool. This reminds me a little bit of like, remember when Chip Kelly kind of had the. Uh, the high power kind of futuristic offense right, right. for a high school level this is a lot like that and it shows that you can be really aggressive while running the ball you know pressing 10 from the 14 and then they run the end around and then they run the end around and it's good for a touchdown a 14 yard touchdown at that less than one minute into this second quarter and Kaufman goes up by a second score yeah and, and Tyler man 
it's just it's just really easy when you can run the ball like that. I mean, run, running the ball is the simplest form of, of moving it uh, in football, and, and Kaufman is, is doing just that. Good snap, good hold, good kick. We're gonna get it off sides by Sulphur Springs. Yeah. They kicked that ball right to the band over there. And that is declined. 14 to nothing with still 11 minutes and three seconds left to play here in the first half. Ryan, let me tell you about our new friends over at Essential Business Solutions. Your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. Let Essential Business Solutions do all the IT work for you. Managed IT services, disaster recovery, and backup solutions, new hardware, and other IT services as needed. Give them a call at 903-335-7581. Essential Business Solutions. They make technology more accessible. I also want to tell you about our good friend Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty. She's your hometown realtor. Get into the real estate market can be overwhelming and intimidating. Who better to go with than the best hometown realtor who knows the people of Hopkins County and their real estate needs? She was born and raised in Hopkins County, even taught at SSISD for six years. Nobody works harder and is happier to help the people of Hopkins County than Katie Adair. Go ahead and give her a call at 903-243-2304 or email her at Katie Martin at Janet Realty or Katie at Janet Martin Realty.com. It's Katie K-A-T-I to see how she can put you in a new home today. You know, when they line up in, in two levels like this, really what you're doing is you're, you're trying to put the return team in a bind and, and who they have to pick up for blocking. Let that go out of bounds. That's probably smart. That's probably smart. Obviously, if you can let it go out of bounds, that's what you want to do. But right there, Cooper Faircloth, heads up play. Once it bounces, if it doesn't go directly out of bounds, you got to punch it out because uh, you would hate for something to happen. So good heads up play there. Tyler, I believe... It's about to rain. Yeah, I'm feeling a little so. sprinkle. We stay dry as long as we could. <laughs> right. right. We will see how much that affects his offense. Caden Mitchell and the offense going out for just their second drive of the night. And there's already 11 minutes and three seconds left in the second. Quick pass out to Malachi. And man, is that sniffed out quickly. That is, uh, that's going to go down as a run. And, uh, a run, a run for loss there. So that is Kyle Von Morrow, Morrow and he is a beast. He is an absolute monster. Yeah, that's a big play right there. Yeah, we were getting to talk to um, Coffins, you know, announcers and everything before the game, and which I had seen if you just look on Max Preps and things like that, you can see how talented he is uh, just from his stats and everything. But, yeah, we were giving a heads up on him. Second and 17. Empty set for Caden. Looking for Chris Adams. He's got him. Wow, he still will go down. That's going to make third and very manageable. About third and one, I think. Now, usually this is when you would see the Brady's bull package. I'm, excited. Right. I'm, I'm interested to see what they do. Great, great ball into uh, kind of a contested area right there. But uh -huh. Silver Springs is going to rush to the line. I like that. Go in a hurry. Let's give it to Malachi. Malachi. Get the first. Get the first. Got the first down. There we go. All the way out to the 45, close to the 50, Malachi Rowland. Welcome man, back. Man, when Malachi can get to that second level, uh, he, he's he's a pretty talented running back. I 100% agree. You know, he was on pace to have just a ridiculous season. Uh, three touchdowns in the first couple of weeks. We had a 100-yard game streak uh -huh. going there for a little while. Yeah, I believe he had 100 yards or more in four of the first five or wow. three of the first four, wow. whatever it was. Again, empty set. First and 10 from the 47. Another quick pass this time out to Malachi. Malachi's got it. Great blocking right there. He's still going. Malachi, up to the 20. All the way into the Bell Concrete Red Zone. Malachi rolling. That's what you gotta have, Tyler. You gotta you gotta have some easy plays that turn into big to big spots. I mean, you know, that's a that's a five yard screen pass essentially that, that just went for 40. Yeah, and again, for the first time tonight, Wildcats are inside the Bell Concrete Red Zone. Shout out to the good people over at Bell Concrete. I tell you this every week, but they take pride in conducting business with honesty and integrity. Been meeting the needs of their clients for over 70 years. 
props to the blocking there. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you pick up that corner block. And a broken defensive line. Matt Coffin, the defensive line, does not play around. They do a lot of things, but playing around, not one of them. You know, no... Uh, Yeah, it's for sure misting at this point. Yeah, no, it is. Y'all probably cannot see that on the cameras, but man, it's crazy. I, you know, we spent so much time talking about the run, but but we're we're throwing better. Yeah. Than we're running right now. Yeah, a lot of success in the past game so far. Second of twelve. Empty set here. That's why he's got open. his older brother, oh. Matt Mitchell. First down, Matt gets close. Does he have it? That'd be the first time they've ever marked it short. Right. <laughs> right. right. They mark it kind of short. Go a little NASCAR here. Kind of get caught in the scramble and get hand it off. Malachi! It's hard to see from this uh, angle, I think but he got it. I think he's got it. I think he got it. And that's going to make first and goal if he does. And he does. First and goal from the nine. I love the, man, I love the move to, to right there. Hey, it's third short. It's go, go, go. Yep. Let's get up to the ball. Everyone in the building knows we're running it, and that's okay. Yeah, second time tonight they've done that, and I, I like that. Uh, it's like you're saying, why do I why give you the opportunity to prepare no, no, for no, what no. you know is coming? Yeah, right. You want to waste the time out? Great. If not, we're going to run it. Yeah. First goal from the nine, seven minutes, 21 seconds left in the first half. Pull that. There Kane we go. keeps it himself. And he does have a handful of yards. Gets that's all a great, the way inside the five. That's a great run, Tyler. Obviously, right here. Oh, man, they blew it dead. I don't really know. That's <laughs> also the first time we've seen a boy is, uh, The offensive line is, is hyped up on that one. They, they want it to be six. But, you know, Tyler, we've got a good view right here. Kate Mitchell, he, he's reading that backside defensive end. If he crashes, I'm pulling it. If not, I'm giving it. And, and right there, Kaufman's aggression into the backfield kind of kind of played a a negative right there for the first time tonight. Yeah, uh, that was a great read on Caden's part. Looks like Chris Adams coming back in. Both Chris and Skyler are going to be on this side. Cooper Faircloth going to be on this side as well. Second and goal from the four. Six and a half minutes left in the first half. Caden's rolling out. He's Get keeping it himself. Get in there. Ooh, just short. About the one, maybe. Maybe the two. It's absolutely four down territory here. Granted, you know, nothing bad happens on third down, but. So you got Grayson Reams coming back out there. Matt Mitchell's out there. Maybe it's some you've got, you've got the Bulls, Bulls package. <laughs> right, you've got the Bulls package. Grayson Reams are going to bring a sixth offensive lineman in. Could you see maybe a read option or anything like that? You could, uh, but, but I like it up the middle. Third and Just goal. Just let, you know, let Cooper Faircloth get his man out of the way. Like you said, probably two tries in this one. He gives it to Malachi. Malachi's there we got go. it. Hey, you called it. Malachi Bulls package. For the fourth time this year, touchdown. Malachi rolling. With a, nice, a one score game again. With a nice little leap yeah. at the goal line. That was kind, nice. kind of uh, LT, Ladania Thomason reminiscent. That might be, for Malachi now, that might be a little before their time. But I, <laughs> right, if you yeah, get a, they, if you get a LT comp, it. Right. that's about as. <laughs> It's about as nice yeah. as it gets. Hey, I could go farther back with guys jumping at the line. Walter Payton yeah. uh, used to do it really well. It's before even your Monday. Right, right. I'm a historian. Good snap, good hole. Good kick. Had some pressure off the edge there, but nonetheless, Tyler, we've got a one-score ball game. We do. 14 to 7, 5 minutes, 40 seconds left here in the first oh, half. Here in Suffer Springs, we like to support our own people. If you're looking for a hometown guy to cover you on all your home, auto, and life insurance needs, Josh Boatman is the clear answer. With Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, nobody knows the people of Hopkins County and their insurance needs better than Josh. Give Josh a call at 903-348-1527 or email him at jboatman at txfb-ins.com to see how he can help you today. Also, what to tell you about our friends at Alliance Bank. Here at Chats Media, we know the love and support that Alliance Bank has for the Suffer Springs Wildcats. Stop by and see them on the square or use one of their many convenient drive through services. You can also visit AllianceBank.com for all your financial and banking needs or give them a call at 903-885-2187. You know, Tyler, I'm not saying here, uh, but I am saying to be on the lookout for it tonight. Could see an onside kick somewhere. Yeah. A little bit of a pooch here. 
Up to the 30. I almost lost it. There was a bird flying in. Or did you see the bird? And right big, as I was watching the football, bird very close to us. Big, uh, big challenge here for the Blue Barrage. You know, Kaufman's had two offensive drives that have both resulted in touchdowns. Yeah, how much do you think the offense getting a score of their own might uh, motivate them a little bit? Huge. I mean, it's a difference. I mean, it's, a, it's as simple as it's a difference in a two-score game and a one-score game. Yeah. And that's... First and 10 from the 30. Like I said, five minutes, 40 seconds left in this first half. Let's give to Garmin. Garmin right up the middle. And he is gone. Break the first one. Let it fill, finally bringing him out. And there is a late flag. A late penalty. Flag, flag. I mean, Tyler, that, that was the, uh, whew, that was a pretty big hole. Yeah. Right there, well, well blocked by Kaufman. And, uh, I mean, when you give a big, strong runner a hole like that, I mean, right. that's the result yeah, you get. I mean, that's, that's, Braxton Garmin, you know, he's going to take that every time. And, and again, I know we mentioned this, but I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have bigger scholarship, but I think he's going to. I, I think he's going to continue to receive more and more. Well, just one play into this drive, and uh, the line's already up to the 11. And the goal changes for Silver Springs here. Now now it's, you know, hey, don't give up a touchdown. Let's, let's get out of this with a field goal attempt. Now we see, we have seen them in situations like this where they're back oh, against the wall and they got out of it. Absolutely. See if uh, there'll be another one of those instances. And if I'm Kaufman, I, I'm going to continue to not put the ball in the air until right. Silver Springs stops me on the run. Right. I'm you're just gonna, not going to. You're going to have to make me put the ball in the air. Granted, they've done this all year. They're not a, a big passing team. They do give to Garmin again. He's trying to make his way to the outside. And it's a great stop by the Blue Barrage. I know you mentioned it earlier, but seeing the Blue Barrage t-shirts was pretty cool, huh? I know, yeah. I wish uh, I wish I knew who made that. Yeah, anyone that does, if you know, put it in the comments. We'll get to see you later. I wear an extra large t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> Just come drop it off at Chad's Media window. I should. Maybe I should copyright it. I did come up with it. You so. did? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now, y'all continue to make and wear those t-shirts. We love it. Five minutes left in the first half. Second and eight. From the nine. You know, Kaufman does a lot of, you know, sets where they get up to the line, let the offensive coordinator see what he's getting, and then call the play. Yeah. They do that a lot. Some more motion. Another give to Garmin. And another big stop by the Blue Barrage. Right there, two linebackers in on the action. Just kind of grabbed his grabbed his leg and, and let his buddy come along and, and finish the job. I think it was maybe Cam Jefferson and David Campbell. Third, third down here, Tyler, and I don't to me where they're at right now. It's not four down territory. Now the wind and the and the weather and all that plays a factor in the kicking game, but but you are not at, at an absolute go for it on fourth down spot. Yeah, now I will say we haven't seen them kick it. Well, we saw them kick it really far the first time, one of the times. I don't remember which one, but four twenty left in the half. Rolling out. Got some time. And he's got it. Touchdown line. Well, and I said that, you know, I would continue to run it until Silver Springs stopped. Silver Springs, you know, they, they buckled down, got two run stops there. Uh, Kaufman goes through the air. And that's Morrow. That, that's who made the yeah. couple defensive stops on the yeah. last he's possession for the Wildcats. Yeah, that's, you know. He's beast. They had a fancy little celebration there, too. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> Anytime you see the team celebrations, that's kind of cool. Ooh, kind of a... I usually say good snap, good hold, good kick, but... I'll go high snap, decent hold, <laughs> good kick. Either way, that makes it 21-7. to 7. Blood under four minutes left in the first half. Want to tell you about our friends at Chick-fil-A. They're where everyone is a guest of honor. No matter your lifestyle or taste buds, grilled, fried, or spicy, there is something for everyone. Delivering and catering available for all you hungry cats. You can order in store or on the Chick fil A app. They look forward to seeing you soon. Go Wildcats. Also, want to tell you about J. Hodge Chevrolet, the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded dealership. A mark of excellence award winner, J. Hodge Chevrolet has also won awards for best automotive dealership and best auto repair shop. They're such big supporters of the Summer Springs Wildcats that they're even located on Wildcat Way. Find new roads to J. Hodge Chevrolet. 
Give them a call at 903-307-2077. Don't ever pay. Go CJ. I like that they do it every single time. Well, you have to. Yeah. Because if you don't, you know, the, the time that you do, yeah, uh, it's going to work because you, you kind of you kinda lull the, the receiving team to sleep there. Now that's a short kick, but Matt Mitchell comes up and fills it at the 33. Well, the offense, they've got some momentum. They went and scored on their last drive. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, you want to have more of the same here. Easy completions, make a guy miss, make, get, you know, get yards after catch, run the ball, convert on third down. All those things are going to lead to points. Again, I want to thank everyone for hanging out. We mentioned this in the pregame show, but if you're just joining us, no blue blazes, no band tonight. So as much as we'd love to show you that during the halftime show, unfortunately, we're not going to get the chance. It looks like Rose Luke in the backfield this time with Caden Mitchell. That win is really picking up. Caden Mitchell out to Cooper Faircloth. That one, just happy that one didn't get picked off. That was a pinball machine right there, bouncing everywhere. Hit our guy's chest, hit their guy's head, back to the guy that originally threw it. Yeah, just fortunate no one comes up with it right, that time. Right, right. Second and 10. Three minutes, 52 seconds left. So, and you still got all three timeouts. I believe Kaufman does as well. Some more points right before the half would be big. And you do get the ball and to start the, the second half. Second half, that's yeah. correct. Give to Rose Luke on second down, just trying to make something happen, and unfortunately unable to do so. Man, we're just not running the ball like we normally do. I mean, usually that's that's kind of what gets us going, and then we open up the pass. And uh, so far today, and you know, I mean, that could be a product of hey, they know we have our backup quarterback right, in. Right. They're going to load the box. They're going to send some different pressures to to stop that run game, and they're going to force. Sulphur Springs to have to throw the ball. Now that being said, Caden Mitchell has looked good here in his first varsity start. I completely agree. Completely agree. Three minutes, 20 seconds left in the half. It's going to be third and 12. I hope they're doing a better job of keeping their hands warm than I am. Caden dropping back. It's a little screen pass. Man, just incomplete. got a lot of traffic in there on that jail screen. You know, last week we, we scored a touchdown uh, on that exact play, but just a lot of traffic. Yeah, I'm always curious how tough those are to complete because, you know, I think people overlook how much traffic there is in there, especially on a play like that. But Right. You know, right here, Tyler, you want to put a good punt on this uh, because what you can't have happen is you, you, you cannot give up points here going into the half. Two-score yeah. game, okay, we're fine. Yeah, Three-score game, th things get tougher. Don't expect a fake here. 305 left in the half, gets the punt off, hoping for a good bounce. That's Ooh. not a bad punt. If it would have went out of bounds, right. it would have been great. Yeah, that, that got a good roll at the end of it. Drew Hodges first down on the coverage. And the Lions, first and 10. Want to thank everyone. For hanging out with us tonight we know all the everyone at suffered springs supporting their wildcats tonight but so are our friends at hooten's hardware in emory the future brands that you know and love such as cub cadet echo milwaukee skag power equipment still and much more hooten's hardware they're more than just nuts and bolts you can visit them on east linden drive in emory call Hootons today at 903-473-8788 or visit their website hootenstill.com three minutes two seconds left in the half starting this drive on the 28th to give the garden there we go blue barrage does a great job there that's the that's the first uh first down that i thought like we've bottled him up tonight yeah That's second and about seven here. Dropping back to pass. He's got it. Got the first down all the way up to the 45. He's still on his feet. Man, I thought Jake Nelson was about to make a big play right there. He kind of tried to jump it, uh, but just wasn't able to come up with the Trayvon Diggs-esque interception there. 
Trayvon Diggs still didn't get the picks this year, too, huh? Oh, yeah. He's looking good. Oh, yeah. Clock up to 210. Still got all three of your timeouts. Two minutes here at the 45. Well, and if I'm coughing here, my goal is that Silver Springs does not touch the ball this half. Agreed. And, and we end in points. Maybe once you get into opposing territory, then you start thinking about timeouts. Yeah. Fake the toss. It's the pass out to Morrow. Morrow. Still, he is tough to bring down. Austin Chaney. Trying his, or uh, Landon Fields, Fields, rather. Yep. That gets him at the 49. Clock's still rolling. It's at 137. You know, when I was a quarterback, Tyler, and, and – I was playing and it was it was damp or wet outside or whatever, man. It used to, God, it made me so mad when officials would roll the ball around on the field oh, when they were yeah. placing it. It's like, okay, hey, it's it's decently hey, dry, and, and now you've and now you've you've gone and <laughs> got it as wet as possible. Now the clock down to one fifteen. Second and six. Motion. There's the get. Braden Morris trying to bring him down. There's Austin Cheney. Braden Morris. Austin Chaney and the rest of the Blue Barrage. I think we are going to go ahead and get a timeout here. Yep, 103 left in the half. Hey, Wildcat Nation. My name's Rebecca McDaniel. You may already know me. I grew up in Hopkins County. I'm so excited to announce that I've joined the Alliance Bank team. Community banks are critical to hometowns, and our hometown is growing. As a community bank lender, I truly strive to know my customers' businesses. When I take on a relationship with a customer, we're a team, and from that point forward, it's my job to help them win. So give me a call, stop by, or reach out through AllianceBank.com. Let's win together. Are you a Class A CDL driver looking to join a team with excellent pay, opportunities for advancement, and family-centered? Go Concrete is the company for you. Right now, we want you to drive for us, and we are looking for employees who desire a guaranteed 40-hour work week and full benefits after only 60 days. We believe that in taking care of our team, they will in turn take care of our clients. And for over 70 years, we have done just that, because that's the Bell Concrete way. Apply online today. Ryan, one minute, three seconds left in the half. Third and three from the 48. Stop here would be big. I assume they're going to Garmin on this play, though. I say that. Could be an end around to more. Who knows? It is play action. Drop it back to pass. He's got the pass. Jaden Nelson makes the tackle, but depending on the spot oh, they get. Oh, man, give. I do not like that spot, Tyler. I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't a first down. I think that was a little generous on the spot, though, but big hit. And didn't uh, even bother measuring or anything. Right. No, they don't in high school football, apparently. Clock at 56. Now it's starting to run again. You're, you're fine if you're Silver Springs. That didn't hurt you that much. No. Dell fourth down would have been cool. There we go. Incomplete. So you got second and ten here. You got 43 seconds. Coffin's got two timeouts. Silver Springs three timeouts. But I, if I'm Silver Springs, I'm not. I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah. We, you know, we're. I don't. I don't think Silver Springs is thinking to go get points here. I think that they want to get a stop here and be down two scores going to the locker room. So yeah, the problem here is is that Kaufman, all of their success is coming on the ground, but it, but if you don't get out of bounds, you almost have to use one of those timeouts. Yeah, that's true. Dropping back to pass. Ooh, good coverage, coverage there from Jaden Nelson. That's going to bring up third and ten. Again, you can run here, uh, but you, you you have to use a timeout. Yeah. Which, you know, I really don't mind them going for two if I'm in this situation because there's only, what, 40 seconds on the clock. Go, uh, say that again. If I'm Kaufman, I'm very considerably strong, like, strongly considering doing what you're saying. I might run it here, make it fourth and manageable, and then go for it because, again, you know, there's going to be, what, 30 seconds left yes, on the clock at that I, point? I, I'm with you. I'm not, not against that Sulphur at all. Sulphur Springs would have 60-plus yards to go. Scrambling. He's got his man. Complete. Landon Fields wraps him up, and he is down at the 41. Should get a timeout here by Kaufman. Clock's still rolling, and they might just wait this out for the final play. I don't know. Now he's walking over there, and there's going to be the timeout. 22 seconds I don't, left. I don't get that, Tyler. Why do they wait? Why do they wait 10 seconds to call a timeout?
22 seconds left in the half. It is fourth down, fourth and six. Right here, the goal is obviously, you know, not like Hoffman convert here, but if they do, you want to make them use that timeout. Yeah. Keep them in bounds. They've only got one left. Try him back to pass. Over the middle. He's got it. It is complete up to the 21. And there will be the final timeout of the half. 16 seconds left. It's back to school time and it's about to get super busy. Are you tired and stressed? Do you need to get into a healthier routine? Let me help you. The FitWit meal planning program helps give your body the fuel it needs to live a healthier life during these busy times while helping achieve fitness goals and save money. It also fixes the confusion of, what should I eat? Let me help you find that better, healthier routine and to start feeling good about yourself so you can focus on what matters most. Follow FitWit on Facebook and Instagram and message me today to begin your journey. Sixteen seconds left in the half. Kaufman out of timeouts now. They're on the twenty-one yard line. That's a big play there, Tyler. I mean, you know, interesting design play. You fake the screen, you fake the screen, throw it over the middle to the tight end. Great throw, great catch. And I wonder if that's where having Riley Hammonds and Ty Bybee out comes into play. Yeah, I mean it certainly it certainly doesn't help. Like we said, sixteen seconds left. You want to keep him in balance here if you can. Absolutely. Drop him back to pass. Wow. Oh, my word. And it's a touchdown. Wow. That's, ah. that's, so, a bad, that's a bad break for Silver Springs right there. Yeah, if you couldn't see it very well on camera, it bounced right off the first receiver's hands into the second receiver's lap. Touchdown. Man. Yeah, replay right there. He's going to the guy, running the dig. Bounces off his hands and is somehow caught by the guy running the post. I mean, just hit right in his chest. <laughs> oh, man. They tell you don't run your routes too closely together, but if you do. Also, somehow that uh, that was in 16 seconds of the clock. Uh -oh. There's no there's no way that's right. But no. That's... Little, home, little home clock operator, but that's okay. No way that's right. But either way, that does bring us to the half. Y'all stick around for the Brian Tolliver Ford Halftime Show. We'll be back for that and the remainder of this game. Like you could use some help. I sure could. I appreciate it. I used to have a truck just like this. I've had this one probably 20 years. It sure has been good to me. We're a Ford family too. I sure appreciate you helping me like this. By the way, my name's Charles. Glad to meet you, Charles. I'm Brian. You be careful going home now. All right, you do the same. At Brian Tolliver, we're along for the ride.
Thank you all so much for joining us here on the Brian Tolliver Ford Halftime Show. Brian Tolliver Ford, they know that your time is valuable. That's why they want to make your purchase as convenient as possible. You can make it from home. Go check them out, BrianTollerFord.net. Ryan, Wildcats trailing 28 to seven on what was a wild play to end the half. That makes it 28 to seven. Uh, it's starting to rain, as y'all can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's starting to rain here, down by three scores. This is going to make for a tough second half. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. I mean, you got your back against the wall here. You, know, you didn't want to give up a touchdown there. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack play to do so, but I mean, you know, my message to the team at halftime would be this. We can't score 21 in yeah. one possession. It's not going to happen. Now, you do uh, so get you the just ball got, to start the half. Yes, but you got you to piece it piece and call your way back. Uh, you know, the last time we were in this position, was on the road at Halswell, uh -huh. uh, in which I thought the second half we played great uh, and, and gave ourselves the opportunity to come back. We, we were a little short, but tonight we hope that ends differently. And I think Kate Mitchell has done really well uh, yeah. so far in, in his varsity debut. Uh, you know, I, I think that we're struggling to tackle the, the Kaufman run game. Uh, yeah. And I think it's as simple as that. Now, I do want to mention you said last time we were in this situation was the Hallsville game. And you're right, they had a great second half the Hallsville game. Almost came back. Uh, you're really a blown play away from being down by six with a couple minutes left. But I do want to talk about, you said it, I want to give him credit as well. Caden Mitchell has looked really good here in his first varsity start. Uh, just the one touchdown so far, which actually was an Alakai rolling touchdown. But he's been leading this offense. We thought they were going to have a really, really hard time passing the ball tonight. And they've done, they've actually, that's the one thing they have done really well tonight is pass the ball. Yeah, and I, I think that's a surprise because, you know, I talked about that we're going to need to run the ball tonight, kind of control the clock. But, man, I mean, of course now it's starting to rain. Uh, yeah. And, and so that, that makes throwing the ball tougher. But we've thrown the ball well tonight, and hopefully in the second half we're, we're able to figure something out and try to get this thing back. Yeah, and of course uh, it's great to see Malachi rolling back. He got his fourth touchdown of the season. We've seen some Rose Luke as well. Um, obviously you're kind of in a situation where you are having to pass more now, but again, that being the one thing that you've done really well tonight, you've got to feel good about that. And we almost saw the defense going to stop down here. If it would have been a different situation, if there wouldn't have been 30 seconds on the clock, I don't think Kaufman goes for it there. I think you did force a punt in another situation. No, there's no question. I mean, that that's Kaufman saying, hey, we don't think we're going to give up any points to Sulphur Springs with 20 seconds to play, so why don't we just go for it? Right. Uh, and it worked out in their favor. It did. Uh, we got a different halftime show tonight because, of course, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, no blue blazes, no blue, no band because of the weather here tonight. So we would love to show that to you. We love to watch – Ryan and I love to watch him every week, but unfortunately we just don't have that. So uh, getting on an extended Brian Tolliver Ford halftime show here tonight. And, of course, uh, we will take a break here in just a second, but just wanted to talk for a few more minutes. Um, you can definitely tell, you know, you and I talked about – uh, a lot of guys on the defense being out tonight. Of course, Nick Cantillo's been out for a while. No Ty Bybee, no Riley Hammonds. And unfortunately, you know, the, the Blue Barrage is still doing their job. But unfortunately, once you start missing that many people, it starts to show at some point, I think. No, I mean, there's no question. Uh, it, it's not... I mean, they've got they've got three starters out. Uh, right. That that makes it tough. You've got two starters out on offense. That that's tough. Right. Yeah. You know, we still haven't seen Jackson Hare come You're back. Right. You know, he got hurt two weeks ago. Suited up last week. Suited up this week, but still hadn't gotten in the game. And so, you're missing some important pieces. There's no question. Uh, but again got to adapt and overcome. I keep yeah. saying it, but that's that's just reality at the point at the moment. You're right, Ryan. Uh, we are going to take a break here in just a second. But before we get out of here, before we go to break, what are some things you're hoping to see in the second half for the Wildcats to get back in this? One? Chip away, chip away. Tack, continue, you know, try to tackle better. Uh, I, I think that I think that this team can get back into it. They got to believe that they can get back into it. And uh, coming out of that second half, you know, we're going to know quickly. What's the tone? What's the feel? Can, can we do this? Can that side? Does that sideline think that we can come back from 21 down at the half? We'll see. You're right, Ryan. I think we're going to take a break here. For any of those of you wondering, we want to thank you so much for spending your Friday night with us. If you're wondering how cold is Tyler right now, I'm as cold as Very I look. Cold. Yeah. So I'm going to take a break real quick. <laughs> we'll be back after some words from our sponsors for the remainder of this halftime show and then the rest of this game. Commercial Glass and Mirror is owned by David Gideon, the father of three different Wildcats, including Gage, who's currently a key player on the Wildcats golf team. If you're looking for the best residential and commercial glass replacement services around, call Commercial Glass and Mirror at 903-885-2661. You can find them on the service road at 405 Interstate Highway 30. We're huge fans of Commercial Glass and Mirror, and we know that you will be too. 
Toby Boatman Garage Doors is a family owned and operated business that has served Hopkins County and surrounding areas for 20 years. They provide high quality and long lasting work that you can find on their Facebook. Call or text 903-348-6170 for all your residential and commercial garage door needs, including installation and repairs. No matter how big or small your job is, Toby Boatman Garage Doors will fix you up. Discount Wheel and Tire of Silver Springs offers a full line of Michelin tires. When you're looking for the right tire, the choice is easy. Michelin packs more science into their tires to bring together safety, durability, fuel efficiency, and performance without any trade-offs. Match the right tire with the right service today at Discount Wheel and Tire, proudly serving our Wildcats for over 25 years. Hooten's Hardware in Emory, Texas, which features brands such as Cub Cadet, Echo, Milwaukee, Skag Power Equipment, Steel, and much more. Hooten's Hardware is more than just nuts and bolts. You can find Hooten's at 1139 West East Lennon Drive in Emory. Call Hooten's today at 903-473-8788 or visit their website, hootensteel.com. Chick-fil-A is where everyone is the guest of honor. No matter your lifestyle or taste buds, grilled, fried, or spicy, there is something for everyone. Delivering and catering is also available for all those hungry cats. Order in-store or on the Chick-fil-A app. We look forward to seeing you soon. Go Wildcats. The Way Bible Church wants to welcome you home on Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock and 1045. Or catch their live stream at 1045 at TWBCSS.com, Facebook, or YouTube. Come and find a place to belong at TWBC. Visit the Way Bible Church at 674 FM 2560 in Sulphur Springs. The Way Bible Church is building a beautiful new building that I know everyone is going to want to check out. Also, a big shout out to Joel, TWBC's pastor, who is a big supporter of us here at Chad's Media. It's been one of the hottest summers ever, and I can't think of a better time to introduce you to our friends over at Donnie's Heat and Air. Donnie's Heat and Air Conditioning Service is locally owned and operated with over 25 years of experience, and they look forward to serving you. Call 903-307-9786 for same-day service or visit them on East Shannon Road. Donnie's Heat and Air for all your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning needs. DMB Loans, your hometown loan specialist and tax preparer. Located on Gilmer Street, DMB Loans is family owned and operated with over 30 years of experience. They offer personal loans of anywhere from $100 to $3,000. They also offer in-house financing on high-quality furniture and appliances, from sofas to bedroom sets and mattress sets. They also offer tax prep and utility bill pay. Owned by Jennifer Clark and Wiley Roten, they are huge supporters of the Wildcats, including grandson Matthew Clark, who's on the football team, and granddaughter Kylie Clark, who is a varsity cheerleader. Since 1927, Alliance Bank has been serving customers throughout North Texas. Our community banking roots run deep, and we are here to serve you. Welcome, my name is Keith Shirtliff, and I am the market president for Hopkins County. Here at Alliance Bank, we offer all of the products and services you would expect from a large, impersonal national bank, but with the personal service you would expect from a community bank. So give us a call. Stop by or reach out through AllianceBank.com. We look forward to serving you. It's back to school time and it's about to get super busy. Are you tired and stressed? Do you need to get into a healthier routine? Let me help you. The FitWit meal planning program helps give your body the fuel it needs to live a healthier life during these busy times while helping achieve fitness goals and save money. It also fixes the confusion of, what should I eat? Let me help you find that better, healthier routine and to start feeling good about yourself so you can focus on what matters most. Follow FitWit on Facebook and Instagram and message me today to begin your journey. Mayo Appliance Services, providing service calls, diagnostics, and repair for all home appliances with fast, affordable, and reliable service guaranteed. Located in Silver Springs, Mayo Appliance Services provides in-home service to all surrounding areas for a pair of washers, dryers, stovetop ovens, refrigerators, ice makers, dishwashers, you name it. 
For more information, call 903-951-4500 or visit mayoappliance.com to see how they can help you today. Here in Hopkins County, we like to support our own people. If you're looking for a hometown guy to cover you on all your home, auto, and life insurance needs, Josh Boatman is the clear answer. With Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, nobody knows the people of Hopkins County and their insurance needs better than Josh. Give Josh a call at 903-348-1527 or email him at jboatman at txfb-ins.com to see how he can help you today. Easley's Liquid Fertilizer and Custom Pasture Spraying is a family-owned and operated business that provides year-round custom agriculture spraying services of farms, ranches, and acreages. Owned by Rodney Easley, Easley's Liquid Fertilizer is a huge supporter of the Sulphur Springs Wildcats, including Trent Easley, who's one of the coaches for your Wildcats. As an authorized dealer for Monty's Plant and Soil Products, they can provide everything that your crops and soil need. Their goal is to help farmers be more successful. Give Rodney a call at 214 214- 837-2206. J. Hodge Chevrolet, the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded dealership. A Mark of Excellence award winner, J. Hodge Chevrolet has also won awards for Best Automotive Dealership and Best Auto Repair Shop. They're such big supporters of the Wildcats, you can find them on Wildcat Way. Find new roads to J. Hodge Chevrolet, give them a call at 903-307-2077. Don't overpay, go see Jay. For over 70 years, the mission at Bell Concrete has been to provide quality products and efficient service to their clients in the ready mix industry. They take pride in conducting business with honesty and integrity. Their concrete mix designs are tested and proven to withstand the test of time. No matter how big or small your job is, Bell Concrete has you covered. Give them a call at 903-885-3126. Bell Concrete meeting the needs of their customers for over 70 years. Your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. Essential Business Solutions can solve your IT needs. Let Essential Business Solutions do the IT work for you. Managed IT services, disaster recovery and backup solutions, new hardware and other IT services as needed. Click the link and set up a consultation today. Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty is your hometown realtor. Getting into the real estate market can be overwhelming and intimidating. Who better to go with than the best hometown realtor who knows the people of Hopkins County and their real estate needs. Katie was born and raised here in Hopkins County and she even taught at SSISD for six years. Nobody works harder and is happier to help the people of Hopkins County than Katie Adair. Give her a call at 903-243-2304 or email her at katie at janetmartinrealty.com. That is Katie, K-A-T-I, to see how she can put you in a new home today. Seven o'clock. Thanks for joining us on your ride home. Stay tuned. We got some brand new music heading your way on the other side. You sure look like you could use some help. I sure could. It's just, I appreciate it. I used to have a truck just like this. I've had this one probably 20 years. It sure has been good to me. We're a Ford family too. I sure appreciate you helping me like this. By the way, my name's Charles. Glad to meet you, Charles. I'm Brian. You be careful going home now. All right, you do the same. Brian Tolliver, we're along for the ride. Hello, Hopkins County business owners. The Wildcat football team sure has gotten off to a great start and our live broadcast has been a hit. Now it's your turn to join in with us for our next round of live sports coverage, including basketball, soccer, baseball, and my personal favorite, Lady Cat softball. 
With thousands of fans tuning in each week, let's support our Wildcats and your business. Contact me at Chad's Media today and help us cheer on even more of our Wildcat athletes. Hey Wildcat Nation, my name's Rebecca McDaniel. You may already know me. I grew up in Hopkins County. I'm so excited to announce that I've joined the Alliance Bank team. Community banks are critical to hometowns and our hometown is growing. As a community bank lender, I truly strive to know my customers' businesses. When I take on a relationship with a customer, we're a team and from that point forward, it's my job to help them win. So give me a call, stop by, or reach out through AllianceBank.com. Let's win together. Since 1927, Alliance Bank has been serving customers throughout North Texas. Our community banking roots run deep, and we are here to serve you. Welcome, my name is Keith Shirtliff, and I am the market president for Hopkins County. Here at Alliance Bank, we offer all of the products and services you would expect from a large, impersonal national bank, but with the personal service you would expect from a community bank. So give us a call. Stop by or reach out through AllianceBank.com. We look forward to serving you. Back for the remainder of the Brian Tolliver Ford Halftime Show. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us on this rainy, windy Friday evening. Still got five minutes until the second half starts. If you're just joining us, the Wildcats Trail 28 to 7. Again, I want to thank all of y'all for hanging out with us on the live stream. Some of our other friends you can watch a live stream from this weekend is that of the Way Bible Church. They want to welcome you home on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. or 1045. You can catch that live stream I was talking about at 1045 at TWBCSF.com, Facebook, or YouTube. Come find a place to belong at the Way Bible Church. Brian, how are you feeling, man? You hanging in there? I'm cold. I am too. But I'm ready to get this second half started. Looks like the Wildcats are as well. Again, I want to give credit to Caden Mitchell on his first varsity start. He's doing solid so far, man. Got some Will Smith play. Getting jiggy with it. I might should start getting jiggy with it. That might would warm me up. Still under, under, <laughs> still a little under four minutes until the second half starts. Get started. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Easley's Liquid Fertilizer and Custom Pasture Spraying. They're a family-owned and operated business that provides year-round custom agriculture spraying services of farms, eight ranches, and acreages. Owned by Rodney Easley, Easley's Liquid Fertilizer is a huge supporter of the Silver Springs Wildcats, including Trent Easley, who is a coach of one of the Wildcats. As an authorized dealer for Monty's plant and soil products, they can provide everything that your crops and soil need. Their goal is to help farmers be more successful. Give Rodney a call at 214-837-2206. Now the Wildcats will have the ball to start in the second half. What do you expect to see here in the second half? You know, they, they've had success passing the ball, uh, especially... The one thing they haven't had success with in terms of the passing is the quick passes are working, but the little screen passes and stuff, Coffin's really been able to kind of snuff those out. Yeah, you know, they just, you know, Tyler, they got to try to chip away here. I mean, there, there's really nothing else to it. Uh, and I think to get back into the game, you're going to have to make some big plays. And, and, and some of those can come from easy plays. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. You know, you've had a, a three or four yard completion to Malachi, who turned that into a 40 yard uh -huh. run after catch. Uh, and so I, I think that Silver Springs has got the guys to get back into this thing, but we're going to have to tackle better. We're going to have to stop the run uh, from Kaufman, and we're going to have to score some points of our own. Yeah. A little over two minutes until we get started for the second half. For anyone wondering, unfortunately, there were no blue blazes or band performance tonight, but 
We'll be back next Friday night for senior night. So that's going to be a big one. And then, of course, uh, already clinched a playoff spot. So we will be right here live on Chad's Media for at least the next two Fridays. Feels weird to have a halftime show without the band and the Blue Blazes. I don't like it. I know the viewers wish that they could have seen that as well. Right before this game's over, you and I might start having to cuddle up. Yeah, it's uh, it's gotten dramatically colder uh, as this game has gone on. I'll be honest with you. My hands, I, I had a rookie mistake of, of yeah. not bringing any gloves. Uh, and I should know better. You know? We should know better. I've been to these things, Tyler. But uh, you think you think I would as someone who spent a lot of my life working I mean, outside on, and man. even playing baseball in the cold? You know, you you, you got to prepare for these moments. Uh, cold baseball is is worse. Cold than baseball is about ever. as bad as it gets. Yeah. I remember when I was young, we were a lot playing, of standing around. Man, we were playing in a tournament, and we were taking batting practice, and it was the coldest I've ever played in. I'm talking like single digits or like whatever, you know. And hitting with the bat was hurting my hands, so I had this bright idea. I'm gonna use a wood bat. Oh, and that's when I idea. tell you, yeah. it was the worst idea. Yeah. Ever, the first pitch just jammed the heck out of me, and I put the bat down. I was like, "All right, that's that's the end of that." Yeah, that wasn't your best, Tyler. Become the coffee line. Yeah, I, I am a big fan of the stadium line. Uh, kind of the, uh, the scheduled like flickering. I like it a lot. Getting ready to start this second half. Again, thank you to everyone who hung out with us during the Brian Tolliver Ford Halftime Show. Before we get this second half started, I want to tell you about our friends at Mayo Appliance Services. Providing service calls, diagnostics, and repair for all home appliances with fast, affordable, and reliable service guaranteed. Located in Silver Springs, Mayo Appliance Services provides in-home service to all surrounding areas of repairs of dishwashers and dryers, stovetops and ovens, refrigerators and ice makers, dishwashers, you name it. For more information, call 903-951-4500 or visit MayoAppliantServices.com to see how they can help you today. Man, this half from Silver Springs, definitely expect, uh, you know, some go for on fourth downs, some some outside kicks, some trickery, you know, you name it. If you're down 21, you you got to figure out a way to get back into this thing. Yeah, I agree with you. Might uh, see some creativity here. And what's happening Oh, now? boy. Are we about to be under a delay? It sure would look like it. Boy, that is. Wait, what? No, no, we're not on the wrong side. No. Yeah, no, there's some sort of delay. Yeah. So our very oh, first. So is this our very first ever uh, weather delay run? Unfortunately. I was really hoping we were going to get to go the entire season without any of those. Also, doesn't that, isn't it like a minimum of 30 minutes? Yeah. I'm going to be honest, okay? I find it hard to believe that they found a lightning strike as we were kicking off. It seems like maybe we could have... <laughs> We could have not uh, let everybody get all lined up and ready to rock. Oh, we have to clear the stadium. Well, we we've technically taken shelter. We're under a we're under a thing. I don't I don't know what that means for us, but we're gonna hang out until they tell us we can't. You know, we're Chad's Media. You're gonna have to kick us out of the. <laughs> Gonna have to kick us out of this stadium. But yeah, we don't know how long this is gonna be for. Uh, I guess it's podcast mode for me and Ryan now. Yeah. Fortunately, we have experience doing a podcast together. Right. You can check that out, the Boy, Linen you're... Closet Podcast, or wherever you want. Also, you can check out Ryan's podcast. Boy, you. Uh... That's where you promote yourself now. Walk on radio? Yeah. Man, I haven't done a lot of walk on radio lately, but if I don't know anything where you watch podcasts. But, uh, yeah, Tyler, man, you're going to have a lot of people leave and not come back. I'm just telling you. In well, weather like this. If that's the case, tune in. Tune in to Chad's <laughs> Media. Yeah. Tune in to Chad's Media. 
If anyone wants to deliver us food up to here, that'd be cool. <laughs> Any lucky or very nice listener, that'd be cool. Well, you know, who knows? A situation like this could help out your Silver Springs Wildcats. You know, I think if I'm coughing, I would have liked to, you know, I got some momentum. I would like to have gotten this thing started. I don't want to give Coach Faircloth and his team enough time to sit around and figure out a game plan to beat me, you know. And who knows? I think this, I, 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 I do think this could benefit the Wildcats. Again, gives Coach Faircloth and his staff some time. Now they do, they did put 30 minutes on the clock here. I don't know if that's going to give us any kind of countdown, but then again, I know you have to wait at least 30 minutes. So two half times is what we got. And it's still somehow going to be a less amount of time than what we sat through at Hallsville that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was rough. Man. It's unfortunate, Tyler. It's not, it's not not unfortunate. We need to, uh, well, any games you like this weekend, Ryan? College football-wise. Ooh, college football. Uh, man. That's a great question. Uh, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, they got a big one. Yeah. Uh, now, I want to talk to you about something with you real quick, and I get crap every time I talk about them, so it's going to be quick. But, um... If I'd have told you this after week one, you'd have laughed at my face. I'd have laughed at your face. But somehow, some way, next weekend at Death Valley, the LSU Tigers are playing Alabama to see who goes to the SEC title game. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, granted, LSU would still have to beat Arkansas and A&M afterwards. But if you beat Alabama, you're beating Arkansas and A&M. Well, I mean, they're hope probably so. beating Arkansas and A&M either way. Uh, I'll be honest. I, I don't see it happening. I don't either. I think they're going to be probably 20, 20 point underdogs in that one. Yeah, probably. Uh, but you know, hey, it's cool that it's cool that they've got a shot. No, after, talk, after that Florida State game, I, I would have yeah. said that they didn't have a chance. Let's talk about uh, everyone's favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. Right, right. Yeah, playing the Chicago five, Bears this five week. Five and two. Uh, What's the spread on that one? I don't know off the uh, top of my head. Dallas is a nine-point favorite. Nine-point favorite. That's a uh, that's a lot for an NFL game. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I will take the Cowboys in that one. Yeah, I, I think, think so that as well. going into the bye, you're going to be six and two. Yeah. Uh, you 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 know the game the first game out of the bye is going to be against the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. I don't I know will, this for a fact, but I thought don't we know someone that's going to be there? I, I think I will be in attendance. Yeah. Uh, surely. I'll dress warmer than I am right now. Yeah, I about to say, it's going to uh, be colder it gonna there be cold. than it is here. It is going to be cold, so I, I'm, I'm going to be wearing gloves at that one. Man, when uh, when Dak Prescott went down, if you would have said that they were going to be 6-2, and two, a lot of people probably would have not believed you. Right. No, I, yeah. I mean, I think that Cowboys defense has kept them in that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's been fun. No one can question the commitment of Chad's media. We are the only people still in the stadium. <laughs> Aaron, a soul left I'm in here. I'm thinking it's a matter of time before they ask us uh, politely to leave. Well, I did say they're going to have to. We're not going out of here for fun. My name is Mitchell Vaughn. I am from Greenville, Texas. I'm a military veteran. I served from 1965 through 1968. Uh, tour in Korea. Last year, I was a victim of a hit and run. I was transported to the hospital and have had to go through treatment. The medical bills started piling up. I reached out to Roper and White because of the compassionate reputation. They understand the human aspect of all of this and it's not just a case to them. Roper and White were able to recoup all expenses. I am so grateful I chose Roper and White. Hello, Hopkins County business owners. The Wildcat football team sure has gotten off to a great start and our live broadcast has been a hit. Now it's your turn to join in with us for our next round of live sports coverage, including basketball, soccer, baseball, and my personal favorite, Lady Cat Softball. With thousands of fans tuning in each week, let's support our Wildcats and your business. Contact me at Chad's Media today and help us cheer on even more of our Wildcat athletes. Are you a Class A CDL driver looking to join a team with excellent pay, opportunities for advancement, and family-centered? Bell Concrete is the company for you. Right now, we want you to drive for us, and we are looking for employees who desire a guaranteed 40-hour work week and full benefits after only 60 days. We believe that in taking care of our team, they will in turn take care of our clients. And 
For over 70 years, we have done just that because that's the Bell Concrete way. Apply online today. It's back to school time and it's about to get super busy. Are you tired and stressed? Do you need to get into a healthier routine? Let me help you. The FitWit meal planning program helps give your body the fuel it needs to live a healthier life during these busy times while helping achieve fitness goals and save money. It also fixes the confusion of, what should I eat? Let me help you find that better, healthier routine and to start feeling good about yourself so you can focus on what matters most. Follow FitWit on Facebook and Instagram and message me today to begin your journey. We're still live from Kaufman, Texas. We are the only people in the stadium, but we're still here. Shout out to all of y'all hanging out with us. Whether it be on the Chad's Media YouTube or the Front Porch News Facebook. For anyone that doesn't know if you have any friends, tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Chad's Media, we're still here. 23 minutes are on the clock, but who knows if they're actually coming back in 23 minutes or not. When there's a lightning uh, delay, you have to wait at least 30 minutes and then uh, we'll see what happens after that but as long as they will let us be in the stadium we're going to be here so the, the problem is is that you know every like each try the uh the clock resets uh which is you know we'll see we did hear that apparently after one half of play that they actually do have the authority to call this thing if, if we can't get it in uh because of lightning yeah, that would be unfortunate for the game to end due to something you don't even have control right, of. Right, right. Until they uh, make a decision, though, we're going to be hanging out right here, live from Kaufman, Texas. Right, we were doing some cows talk earlier. Any players that have really, because I got one, if that's cool with you. Any players, and I'll, I'll give mine and then see, but players that have like really standing out to you this year. I, I would say my first one. Oh, we're here. Oh, there we go. I guess we're so. Okay, my first one would be Dorrance Armstrong. I mean, okay, it's been yeah. a beast this year. Yeah, well, Dorrance Armstrong, you know, obviously a lot of people were unhappy that you lost Randy Gregory. Right. And I think that Dorrance Armstrong has replaced and, and made that. <laughs> I mean, look at this, guys. Come on. This is <laughs> Chad's medium, man. Awesome. We get it done. Uh, this is awesome. But, uh, yeah, you, you know, you replaced Randy Gregory. I think he's actually played better than Randy Gregory ever did. Yeah. Uh, a name that I'm going to bring up, and just because it's so fun to watch him, is Kevontae Turpin. Absolutely. Uh, his, his special team's presence, you know, in the return game has been incredible. Uh, he, he's able to switch the field better than, than I've seen in a long time as a, da as a Dallas yeah, Cowboys returner. Yeah, I don't know that returner. the Cowboys have had – it's been a while anyway. Yeah. We've had some decent ones over the years, but – He's, he's definitely – now, he had one, was it last week or the week before, where he had this great return. I think got past the 50-yard line, and the Cowboys walk out of that drive with no points. But Yeah, that was last week, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it's been fun, and I think that I think that they've they've shut a lot of people up as far as, you know, all the season's over because Dak is out for how many ever weeks it was. Right. And right now you're sitting 5-2. and two. I think you're going to beat the Bears this week and, and be 6-2 and two headed to the bye. So who would have thought the entire division was going to be this good this year, right. though? Because a lot of people had picked the Eagles to win the division, and they are living up to the hype so far. But the Giants, out of nowhere, are 5-1. and one. What is happening? Now, as, a, as someone who's had Saquon Barkley in fantasy his entire career, I'm here for it. <laughs> but... 
Surely they gotta start losing games at some point. What's yeah. More, okay, I, what's more surprising? Are you ready for this? What's more surprising? The Giants being five and one, or I'll let you take your pick, Tampa Bay or Green Bay, T Tom Brady Giants or are, Aaron Rodgers being six and, awful. I think the Giants are six and one. Okay? Six and one? Yeah, I think so. What's more surprising, them being that or both Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady just being garbage? What's more surprising? I mean, I guess I'd have to go with the Giants yeah. record. Uh, you know, but I, I definitely, I was not a fan of Brady coming back after he retired. I think that he had a great opportunity to hang it up. And, Neither and was Giselle. Just go, right, just go just go into retirement as the greatest player to ever do it. Uh, this doesn't change that, but he's had a very disappointing year. Aaron Rodgers, uh, he, he doesn't have a lot of weapons with him, and, and it's been a tough go. And I hope, I hope in two weeks when I'm there uh, in Green Bay, I hope that it's, another I hope tough it's go. the same way. Yeah, knowing Aaron Rodgers, no matter how bad they are, he'll find a way to beat the Cowboys. It feels like as a Cowboys fan, they always find a way, man. They always find a way. Got a little switch up here. We've got the World Series tonight. We do. We Game one. Astro, Astros, Phillies. Uh, I, I would. Here gross. we go, Astros. Here Stop we go. that. I will walk off I, uh, set right now. I'm certainly, you, you're in the minority. Corey Hankins and Houston alone. Uh, but I am I am wearing my red and blue Phillies gear tonight. Uh, yeah. Uh, the first pitch is in uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. You, you want to just start calling that game? Right. We're just gonna we're gonna pull that up. Me and Tyler are gonna get the play by play. Start our play our our, our baseball career. Uh, but yeah, not a big Astros guy. Hate him. Almost as big of an Astros hater as I am a Rangers fan. To be That's honest the with thing. You. I dislike the Astros more than I like the Rangers. Yeah. And it's not because they cheated, though they did. I hated them way before they came. Yeah, cheated. living down near Houston for me was tough, man. I was, yeah. uh, golly, I got picked on so much by teenages uh, in my Dallas fandom. Because uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm die hard Dallas through and through. Absolutely. Cowboys, Mavs, Rangers, Stars. I mean, I'm, I'm, Stars I'm, I'm, off to a good start. Stars off to a good start. Five wins so far. Mavs got uh, a big win last night. Luka Doncic with a 40 point triple double, by the way. The man's ridiculous. If we you said 42? 42? Uh, What'd you I say? think 41. 40, okay, wow. It was a 40-point wow. triple-double either way, though. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of, we got basketball season coming up soon. Yep. If anyone enjoyed watching our games last year, stay tuned. We got a lot of Sovereign Springs Wildcat basketball coming up for you. We've got the Chad's Media Invitational. What's that? Uh, November 21st in the 22nd? Yes. November 21st, November 22nd. Is that the week? That's the weekend before Thanksgiving? Right? It's the Monday yep. and Tuesday. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday. There you go. Yeah, so... That's the perfect time to be watching basketball. You've got Thanksgiving that week. You're going to be hanging out with friends and family, and then you know. Hopefully, we still got Wildcat football going on, though. Hopefully, we still got that Wildcat Friday. football or Saturday or wherever it may be. Wherever, whenever, if they're playing, we'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's true. Right, that's right. true. Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and you I know, know, really, in the past, man, it would have been a huge problem uh, because most of the basketball team also played football. That's but true. In the last, you know, six, seven years, it, it seemed that you got mostly basketball only guys that that are that are hooping. Yeah, I believe last year Bull Turner played both. Yeah. Uh, outside of him, I can't really think of nah, that you many. Nah, you hadn't had any in years, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not many, at least. I am excited for some Wildcat basketball, though. Oh, no question. You know, preseason number 10. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've, you've certainly got some talent coming back from a team that made a little bit of a run last year. Brian, I'm not going to lie. I found my zone. I was freezing earlier, but we're standing up. We got the lights on. It's like, I'm, I, I'll do this all night. I don't care. I found my zone. Now, there's still, thir there's still 13 minutes on the clock here, but... If it, it doesn't, to me, feel like a game's going to be played 13 minutes from now. Does it to you? I'll be honest. I, I, I'm thinking no, uh, considering, you know, at some point you got you to gotta come back out and warm up. Uh, True. But, you know, Tyler, my, my biggest delay story is uh, the National Championship game. We had a rain delay, a uh, lightning delay, and it was right before actual halftime. It was a it was a ninety minute delay. Oh yeah, and y'all ended up like not. We ended having up not having halftime. That yeah. became our halftime. But the, the coolest thing about that is, in the locker room, you know, everybody's kind of changing their shoes, changing their changing some of their socks because man, it was just God, it was so wet. But dude, we just man, everybody gets up, kind of somebody starts playing some music. We're up dancing, living it up, and, and you kind of could have you had the feeling that. You know, we were going to come Even out of the second half. Even though y'all were losing at the point, y'all were dancing? Man, we just, I'm telling you, we, you just knew. We, we, had a, we had a feeling that we were going to make it work. Uh, we come out, guns a-blazing, take the lead, get back down, uh, and then, you know, in the end, end up, ended up winning up on basically the last play of the game, and, and the rest is history. But that's my that's my rain delay story. That's a pretty good rain yeah, delay that, story. Yeah, that's a fun one.
That's, That's a, a pretty good one. one. I do gotta say, I wanna give a big shout out to Corey Hankins. People have been hyping up the Corey cam all year long. Now we don't have the Corey cam tonight because Corey is, uh, do you not have it? I would, you look like Cartman from South Park. I wish people could see that. Do you have it? I can't hear you, what? I said you're looking very Cartman from South Park. -ish. I think people would love to see that. But no, I really do want to get, people have been loving the Corey cam all year long. I've been loving the Corey cam and, uh, Big shout out to you, man. Yeah, you, you got, you got it. You got it. So I'm going to jump now in here. The real Corey cam. The oh, real there's Corey the cam's up. Oh, nice. is it up? The Corey cam's up. <laughs> okay, come back to me. More me. More me. More me. More me. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm on you. Where'd Ryan go? Oh. Hey, the camera's over here. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to jump on. I wanted to thank Ryan. I want to thank Tyler, Corey. Got Rachel Johnson helping us tonight on the camera. Abby Tips helps us out. Yep. On cameras. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner Crump. Crump. Casey listen, Chicas. Listen, Casey Chicas. Tanner Crump, though. Let's talk. Let's talk oh, about this guy. He's he is been the, great. He is the Chad's Media Slaughter's player of the game <laughs> every every Friday night. Go to Tanner Slaughter's Crump. Barbecue tomorrow morning, oh, 10 a.m. If you you know what you know what sounds good right now is some Slaughter's Barbecue. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'd stand by their hot fire right yes. now just to warm up. Just get a some of their the boudin, get just get you warmed boudin, up a little bit. Dude. Boudin, dude. <laughs> boudin, dude. The boudin, dude. Listen, uh, but I wanted I did want to address one thing with you though. Uh and, and I am wearing um Logan Logan just texted me and said bust Chad for those gloves. I am wearing uh I listen, I brought gloves. Hey, it's called you was, gotta do what you no, gotta do. No, I brought gloves. Corey has it because he's got fat fingers. <laughs> He couldn't wear Rachel Johnson's second hand. Any gloves are better than no gloves. Absolutely. Any gloves are better than no gloves. <laughs> Rachel had extra gloves and he couldn't put his hands in them. So I'm like, well, I'll put my hands in them. Put my and pinky finger in them. So, and now I'm wearing the leopard print. I love Is this it. leopard print? Leopard print. Um, I say this as you're about to make fun of me. I don't know why I'm hyping you up still, I, but let's I, hear it. I know. I'm not going to make fun of you. I was going to say, I grew up an Astros fan. So oh, yeah. I grew up in Houston. Well, okay. most, most of my childhood in Houston. And so Mattress Mac, y'all know the story yep. is the Mattress, Mattress Mac. Mac. I've met Mattress Mac. Have you met him? Actually, Sam Houston, yeah. So uh, I grew up watching commercials of him saying, uh, I'll save you money and burning stuff and burning the money. And it was funny. Uh, but anyways, he bet $10 million. Do you know the story? Yes. Tell us more. Okay. So what were you about to say? So to win $75 million. To win $75 Astros, million, four games away. He does a promotion every year where if the Astros win the World Series. That there's a certain window of time uh -huh. that if you come into his uh, into his store and buy furniture, if you buy it in that window of time and the Astros win the World Series, they will give you all your money back for what you spent. Yeah, so what he does is makes these incredibly huge bets. That way, if the Astros win, he can do the promotion and it's still... It's an insurance policy. It is. Yes, it's it an is. the most Houston thing ever. It but is very he, Houston. This, it would, hey, and it also would go down as the, the, largest, the, biggest, the largest sports betting bet in the history of sports betting. Yes. But, uh, okay, but so, uh, so if he loses, though, if the Astros lose, he not only loses the $10 million bet, but also all the money. So he's going, it's like an all in for Mac. Wait, he loses the money? He loses the 10 million and he also loses all the, he loses all the money he has to pay back to the people that really? bought all the furniture. I thought he no, only he had to pay them back. No, 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 won. that's right. I'm sorry. I yeah, was, but still. Was, he's out oh. 10 million. But he is 10 actually, million. he's actually bad luck because he's Whoa. done this twice with the Astros when they lost. And then he's done it with the Buccaneers when they lost. He did it. Uh, so what you're saying is he's he not a great sports better. He is not a very good sports better. Oh boy, hey, listen, Matt. There's nobody. He's a oh, he is beloved down there. There is nobody that that um, that walks more confidently through Minute oh, Maid Park than Mattress well, Matt. I mean, as he should. Oh as yeah, should. And with and his do, Bergman jersey yeah. everywhere he goes. Yeah. All right, I'm out here. What's funny is I have a lot of Houston followers, and uh, like every single one of them has a picture with Mattress Mac. Like, oh, they restarted the clock. Did y'all notice this? Oh, good. Hey, you did there call was, it. You said that there would not be a football game played in 12 minutes. Yeah, the and clock you're right. got all the way down to 8 before. Now it's back to 27. So, we again, we might just be doing this all night. Ryan, have you been, if we, you know, did, if either of us did stand-up, now would be a time to get some material in. Oh, boy. I don't. I, I'm more witty, funny. Yeah. I don't, on the spot. I, I love, don't know. I love stand up, but I can't do it. 
Also, I'm not funny. I've no, no one, no one's ever been like, you know who's really funny? Corey thinks you're funny. Tyler. Corey thinks you're funny. Corey doesn't think I'm funny. He just likes to laugh at me, which is what he's still currently doing. <laughs> Anyway, I think you're uh, funny. Tyler. I think you're funny. Thanks, bud. Come on now. Love you. Come on now. Tell us a joke, Tyler. You're I accidentally so went right into announcer mode. I was like, anyway, 27 yeah. minutes left. Uh, yeah, we still got another lightning, so. Uh... Oh, man. And we're still playing Getting Jiggy With It. Has yeah, this just been playing all night long? It's been a 30 minute loop of Getting Jiggy With It. I do like Getting Jiggy With It. Telling the rain. Get jiggy with it. Get on that. All right, Tyler. I'm gonna ask you some icebreaker oh, questions. It's, it's raining, raining right now. Okay, oh, let's I'm gonna ask you some icebreaker questions, Tyler. Let's get let's okay, get you're on a stranded island. Ooh. You can take you can take one item with you. Okay. Okay. What are you, what are you taking? A boat. No, now, you gotta stay on the island. Is this you a, stay on the island? Is this I'm supposed to be answering smart or like with my gut? It's, it's whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Look, you you I'm talking like a materialistic item. Not water, not food. You've got that taken care of. But give me an item that you can't live without. Okay, I like this question. Um, do you have yours? Because give me a second to think. I, I like this question. I, if, I thought it's gonna be like Desert Island movies. Like I always have those ready no, to go. No, not like that. Um, it's a good question. Can I get like a like a Kubota or something? Something that I can drive around the island at least. Make my time. If on the that's island your easier. if that's your item if, if that's your item that's your item. I feel like that's a good answer, right? Corey, back uh, me up. I'm gonna go. I'm going I'm like a Kubota or something. That way, I can at least drive from place to place on the island. Like okay. I need wood. Oh, well, the wood's all the way over there. I, I'm thinking that like your phone. Okay. I'm thinking that your phone is not like a good answer because you know no the chance that you have in cell service is, is pretty slim. So and then I'm gonna I get go, to use it once before it dies. I'm gonna go golf clubs. Uh, oh, then hey. I can I can spend my time you building you know a very backyard uh, stranded island. Dude, you would have the course record for everything. I'd be the greatest golfer in that in that course <laughs> history. The greatest golfer the island had ever seen. Right. Yeah. Right. You introduce them all to golf, but you don't teach them, so you're still just the best. Oh, you've got people well, on this island. You, no. no, we're by ourselves, Corey. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a deserted this, this is island. A, this is a Tom Hanks castaway okay. moment. Okay. You've uh, played deserted island before, yeah. Right. Oh my God. Okay, Tyler. Next question. You you can meet one celebrity. You can have dinner with one celebrity, alive or dead. Who are you Ooh. picking? Okay. Prince is playing. I kind of want to pick Prince. Prince would be pretty cool. Okay. Prince would be is cool. That, I, I'm, I'm shocked gonna, that you're not picking a, a sports figure. Well, if I'm picking sports, it's Dirk. Let me okay. hang out with Dirk. That's cool. I like that. Who you got? What? Man, I, I, was, I was huge LeBron fan growing up, but hard for me not to pick a Dallas Cowboy figure. Uh, I'm going to pick Zeke. Zeke's probably one of my favorite Cowboys of all time. Uh, Dak would be cool. If I'm going Cowboy, I'm taking Tony Romo. I met Tony Romo. Really? Is the, he weekend, cool? the weekend that we won the national championship, I met Tony Romo. Did he come like to talk to y'all or what? Uh, no, he was he was at the week, so we stayed at the star. Uh, and he was he was having dinner with his kids playing catch. Nice. And uh, of course I recognized him. But Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know how people play that game they're like, I don't think I'd recognize it. Like, yeah, I would recognize Tony Romo if I saw uh, Tony yeah, Romo. No, I've no doubt. Uh, trying to think of another question. Okay, you get one meal for the rest of your life. It's the only meal you can eat. There's no health implications. Ribeye. What do you pick? Is a ribeye? Rare. A rare ribeye. From anywhere specifically? Um, dude. Okay, Logan. Is Logan still watching the the steak? Odds are yes. The ribeye that Logan made at his last competition, the one at Paris, when I went with you, that would be my final meal ever. That's what, that would be awesome. Shout out to Table Leaf. I'm not wearing my I just table got, leaf shirt. We just got a message uh, from Mr. Heath. He oh. said that he said that we're a hoop. <laughs> my man. Oh man. I I'm interested really really to know how many people are even watching this. Do what? I'm interested to know how many people are watching this. But twenty three minutes. Thousands. Wow. <laughs> twenty three minutes still on the clock here. Tens of people. Tens of people. Tens. 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 Dozens. Tens. Even That's, Shout out to y'all for trooping through. Oh, I mean, we're trooping 100, through. 198 of those do not believe we're going to play this game tonight. Logan, Logan said, heck yes. Let's go. Logan said, heck yes. I love Logan. Tyler, my meal would be a, a <laughs> yeah, he's talking probably a, a, a meat lover's pizza. I, I'm a big pizza guy. I love pizza. I feel like pizza doesn't miss. Even bad pizza is pretty good. I'm a big New York style kind of guy. Right. You get some good New York style New York? pizza? No, I'd love to. I feel like you can't say you've had New York style unless you've been to New York. It's different. Yeah, I, it's I agree. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I love that. You know, See, my favorite place. still deliver out here? Is that Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. Dude, <laughs> Chick-fil-A is where everyone is the guest of honor. 
no matter your lifestyle, taste buds, grilled, fried, or spicy, they have something for everyone. Also, delivery and catering is available for all you hungry cats. Order in store or on the Chick-fil-A app. I got I got people blowing my phone up. Jason Evans, he said that they've got they've got two viewers at their house watching the stream. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I know Jason Evans is not an Astros fan. Oh, oh you know he's no, not. he's not. Now Chuck King Rus just commented that he grew up in Houston. He's an Astros, an Astros fan. fan. However, I, I would never argue with I would never argue with Chuck King. No. That's no, the man. No, that's a, that's but yeah, you know I wouldn't even the, the, the sports fan men in my life, Rusty Harden, Tory Humphreys. Jason Evans, tough, it's questionable crew that I'm hanging out with, it's but none of us are Astros fans. <laughs> Corey's probably randomly like a Seattle Mariners fan. Not, You've got the I'm most random. Fan. He's got the most random. Corey, fandom. Corey, Corey's an Atlanta Falcons fan, yeah, and which, an LA Clippers fan. He's an Atlanta Falcons fan, which excludes him from all sports conversations. <laughs> uh, Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons. Falcons. Fan. I don't even know they had a team. Well, the Clippers, the Clippers are the Falcons of the NBA. Somehow. They are, and I still root for the Cowboys. I love, I love the Cowboys. They also blew a three-one lead, didn't Why? they? Yep. Yep. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yep. Oh Lord, we did. Nothing. What's happening? Nothing. No, just, just keep it. <laughs> Tyler, Twenty minutes left. Here. Tyler, speaking, <laughs> speaking, speaking. Speaking. Uh, I just say what. <laughs> You say Burgundy? <laughs> we got Burgundy here, yeah. yeah I, I'm a big Ron Burgundy fan. Uh, but I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron Burgundy. Speaking of food, Tyler, when I go to Lambeau in two weeks, I, uh, I'm really excited to eat some cheese curds. I've heard that, that the cheese there is, is a real big deal. Uh, it'd be really cool to go to the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame uh, uh, to see really Forrest, Forrest Greg. Greg. Yeah, Forrest Greg. You're a Forrest Greg winner. I'm a Forrest Greg uh, winner. I was actually the last winner while he was still alive, which I always think is, is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, but I've, I've got some uh, questions coming in. Uh, Logan wants to know on air, Tyler, oh, who's no. your favorite boss? Whoa. Oh, what? Oh, man. <laughs> I would say I would say considering that Chad is here, it's got to be Chad strong. regardless. That's wrong, baby. <laughs> now is the perfect time to do some Q and A. I mean, I would say the boss my is, answer, you know, not, uh, my answer is. Hey, tell him your favorite boss is the one that understands the infield fly rule, <laughs> <laughs> or that it's a state championship. The one who doesn't nationals. think we're going to nationals. <laughs> I love each of them equally is my oh, answer. That's there. there you go. There you go. Hey, how about this? How about Ask Logan who his favorite employee is. He'll, he'll text me. Yeah. It's probably me. It's not me. How about this? How about we uh, we, we, we take a break? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll we couldn't have done that before I had to answer the boss question. <laughs> And then we'll come back and let everybody know if we're going to stick around. And then if we are, we'll just go to the East Street. Let's, let's go into the Y'all be, we'll be right back. We'll see if I still have a job for my other boss. I don't know. Commercial Glass and Mirror is owned by David Gideon, the father of three different Wildcats, including Gage, who's currently a key player on the Wildcats golf team. If you're looking for the best residential and commercial glass replacement services around, call Commercial Glass and Mirror at 903-885-2661. You can find them on the service road at 405 Interstate Highway 30. We're huge fans of Commercial Glass and Mirror, and we know that you will be too. Toby Boatman Garage Doors is a family-owned and operated business that has served Hopkins County and surrounding areas for 20 years. They provide high-quality and long-lasting work that you can find on their Facebook. Call or text 903-348-6170 for all your residential and commercial garage door needs, including installation and repairs. No matter how big or small your job is, Toby Boatman Garage Doors will fix you up. Discount Wheel and Tire of Silver Springs offers a full line of Michelin tires. When you're looking for the right tire, the choice is easy. Michelin packs more science into their tires to bring together safety, durability, fuel efficiency, and performance without any trade-offs. Match the right tire with the right service today at Discount Wheel and Tire. Proudly serving our Wildcats for over 25 years. Hooten's Hardware in Emory, Texas, which features brands such as Cub Cadet, Echo, Milwaukee, Skag Power Equipment, Steel, and much more. Hooten's Hardware is more than just nuts and bolts. You can find Hooten's at 1139 West East Lennon Drive in Emory. Call Hooten's today at 903-473-1. 
Again, we want to thank every single one of y'all for hanging out with us here tonight. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see behind us, but it is pouring down rain. We are still the only ones left in the stadium. And it's getting to the point where I don't know that our equipment is going to be able to make it through this. Uh, again, want to thank all of y'all for hanging out. We will be back next Friday night at home, so we we'll won't get be the getting comfort wet for of that our own. Yeah. You guys might if you're in the stadium, but Tyler and I will be in the press box, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, you know, it sucks that, that it looks like this one. You know, we don't know if it's going to finish or not, but right. it is starting to rain pretty hard. It's it's raining, raining. Um, yeah, so appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Yes. And we hope we hope Friday uh, is a little better situation. Yeah, absolutely. We will be back next Friday night for Senior Night as the Wildcats go up against Anna. I want to thank every single one of our sponsors as well for making sure that we can get here, making sure we'll be back next week. I want to thank every single one of you for hanging out with us. From On behalf of myself, Ryan Humphreys, Rachel Johnson, Corey Hankins, Chad Copel, Logan Vaughn, because he's listening, Tater Crook, Abby Tips, Casey Chicas, I'm Tyler Linden. We'll see you all next time.